What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another stream. Today, we are just going to continue with as long as I can last, because I am feeling exhausted, tired, and ailing. <laughs> like, my legs hurt. My brain is not really functioning today, either. So, yeah. Uh... We're just gonna, like, we have a lot of talking to do, because I didn't do any of that after the last main quest. So the first thing that we're gonna do is a battle, because I don't want to start the stream... ...with, uh... ...just that. So, um, let's go and go right into it. Go right into it. <clears throat> Two enemies. Okay. The paladin is routed. Um... Spear, archers, and... Okay, I think this is fine. We'll just take it slow. Well, not too slow, because now. I do have a seven-minute time burn. I don't want to get left behind while I'm stuck hiding in my room. Yeah, we can win this. I'm on it. No charge. Just you go this way, me. you go Burning that way. Shot. Let's get this battle underway. <sighs> Edelgard is fighting a disadvantage. Ow. Wait, why? Heavy spear. Oh, that's why. You know what, Balthus? You go have help Edelgard. I think that way we should be fine. Momentum, I'm just gonna slowly make my way through everything. This place won't be a problem anymore. Back. So, <clears throat> I think I'm slowly starting to uh, understand how to play this game on a bit of a decent-ish level without having to do too much grinding. Not saying that it's perfect and that it's fast, but I think I have a slight understanding how to take all of this on. Uh, let's see if I can actually, like, bring any of that up at the same time as, like, actually playing the game. Okay, that's good. Two of you are actually done. Here I go. No mistake. They must learn who they're- I'm on it. No j uh, so yeah. Uh, slowly. So what I noticed is that this game is gonna give you a lot of units, and you're just not gonna use all of them. That's just a fact, and... Well, you could technically use all of them, but that will... Definitely put you in a situation of, yo, know, you're gonna have a lot less to, uh, or a lot more grinding to do. Because leveling up through using money and other things is just very expensive. Which is kind of a thing that's always been the case. Or you're playing Hyrule Warriors or uh, something else. Let's begin. 
And that's not a bad thing. But it's just not very reliable. And in this case, uh, I'm playing the game on with permadeath, right? So if I end up losing... A character during battle, I will... they will be dead forever. Which is not something that I'm looking forward to, personally. So it brings a little bit of extra difficulty and tactics into it. Wording is not coming out there. Like, I have no brain <laughs> at this very moment. Uh, so, yeah, a lot of characters, a lot of leveling, not much of a. Um, decent way of grinding, I do say so myself, because the levels just take too long, and some just get more than others. Uh, so yeah, what I've learned is that uh, mostly you're gonna have, like, the side missions, the not the main missions that you do before one of the main missions usually, they are like always played with four characters. So those are the main four characters that you usually play as. On the other hand, the main missions are played with eight characters, of which four you can control and the other four you can pick. Uh back hurts, everything hurts. And since you're usually playing mostly with just four characters, the four characters you play as are usually the strongest, right? In my case, it's usually Edelgard. I swap it around depending on what is most necessary for us to, like, beat the mission as fast as possible. I didn't even realize there were more enemies here. They must learn who they're up against. Um, good job, Bernie. I need your help. It's Bernie's time to shine. Knowing when to retreat is a vital strategy. How much time? Four minutes. I have a bad feeling about this. I don't think I'm gonna make this actually. Where the heck are you? Bernie? I know I just killed most of these guys, but. Just stay on point, stay on moving forward. Uh, so yeah, four characters that you'll most likely be using most of the time and can control yourself so you don't have to actually pay that much attention to their HP and health and what other things. And the other characters are, like, non-controllable. What you can do, though, and that is kind of what's so great about this game, is that you can set certain characters as adjustants, adjodants. Don't know how to pronounce that. And which technically puts them off the map. Meaning that they can't really die, if that makes sense. So you can't lose them for not paying attention. Which is super chill. 
But that will mean that you kind of need to put them... Oh. Shit, we didn't do all the side missions. Uh... Okay. Bit of a... At least I got the S rank. Right? Guess that does mean I need to do this level again. Steel Lens. Dome, Wolf Fangs. <sighs> I'm talking a lot and nothing... anything... Sen nothing sensible is coming out of my mouth. Super great. At least we got something done. That's Can you believe born part, I guess. We've waited what feels like decades, and still no Imperial army. What is the Emperor thinking? She promised to protect us. Calm yourself, my lord. They will come. We've received reports of a large army forming to the south of Aryan Road. They will scatter this siege to the wind. I have no doubt of that. They had better. It's her promises that swayed me into betraying the kingdom in the first place. I didn't do this just so my lands could be leveled by the King of Fargus's fiery wrath. The Silver Maiden will keep us safe. She yields to no invader. Viscount Elidor and Count Duval have both sent messages, imploring me to surrender for the sake of my people. Yes. Perhaps it's not too late. I can lure the Imperial Army in and kill them, then beg the King for mercy. My lord. Lenato, you fool. Your rashness is to blame for all of this. This is no time to go soft, my lord. Turning our coats a second time would be abominable. One betrayal can be explained away with the right sort of excuse, but a second? A second paints the lot of us as feckless curs. Ugh. Then what would you have me do? Gwendol, you tell me. Command it, my lord, and I will gladly go to my grave. You, however, must not. Yet unless you have fought life and limb for your people, you cannot surrender with honor intact. Anything less would earn you the people's scorn, just as it did your ancestors. Ha! Ha ha ha! Yes, of course. It certainly would not do to forget that Roe blood is stained with treachery. Well, so be it. A weather vane must go with the wind, and a born traitor must finish the sedition he started. Wise words, my lord. I don't like People Rowan. Thank you for this course of action. Ooh. Um. And a shop. It's always handy to have and a shop. Ooh, that's a lot of resources. Is this a battle? Oh. Uh, this is bad. Let's see. Axe. Mm, I think we'll be fine. Let's earn our keep. I don't want to get. <sighs> Not a problem. I've got this. It's Bernie's time to sure hope this Bernie goes, goes this okay. way. Here I go. They must learn who they're up against. I'm on it. No chip, just leave it. Left behind while I'm stuck hiding in my room. Yeah, we can win this. Defeat the thieves and their allies. Where did this Texas knife come from? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got you now. 
enough. Is that all we've got? Our time has finally come. Hold strong and watch for an opportunity to strike back. Here goes. slacking off and I'm just murdering everything on in my path. How much damage? 9 of the 30. Yeah. Giant crawler, sword, X fist and ice. That's another bar down. Which means I can finally go home. Good job, Bernie. You're alive. You didn't do much, but you're alive. I won't. Rusted X. Make a silver X. It's a B. It might be good. Though I can't actually op uh, repair those yet. Okay, by the looks of it, we're still fine. That's good. Well, I was a little bit worried. Three forge uses. Sick. We're gonna finish these up as well this time around. <sighs> Facility can be expanded. Support conversations.
Everything has its use. I should sell that large bullion that I got for free. Hey there. Have some time to kill? Well, hello there. Buy items. Is that the one? Nothing but the best. Is that the one? I can buy advanced seals for 2k. Is that the one? Come back soon. Hey there. Need some forge weapons. Rusted bow. E. Yeah, I can't make these yet. Get Edel, upgrade Edelgard's weapon a little bit. I don't have that much Mithril. So I think we'll just keep the free forges remains. Till we maybe get some more. Oh. Ow! Ow! Oh, fuck! Allow me to assist with any matters Training grounds can be upgraded. Almost having the training grounds fully upgraded on this level. Let me know if I may be of further service. Okay, let's go talk to everyone while we're at it. Do you have a moment? I confess I'm more than a little relieved that things have finally settled down in Regan. And that's to say nothing of my relief that we didn't lose Count Berkeley's in the bargain. However, it looks like we'll need to keep a careful association with Quads moving forward. Hmm. Strongest man in the Empire ends up on the back foot from time to time. Just glad he made it out in one piece, <laughs> agreed. Although it was an interesting experience to see that even the great Count Berkeley's is human. Now you can say that again. Good day to you. Excuse me. Have you heard the rumors? I heard there is someone else in our ranks who wishes to see their house restored. Huh? You mean Randolph? Randolph, is it? See, thread lightly, Randolph. For I have committed your name into memory. I shall not be outdone by you, dear fellow. I will see my house restored first. Even when tinged with sadness, her face remains as splendid as always. Still, wish I could do something that might bring her joy. If only I was smarter or stronger or both. Well, I'll just do my best. I'll just do the best I can with what I've got, and I'm hoping you'll do the same. Always. Let's see. I capitulated to the Empire which might actually give my father greater peace of mind. You see how Ordelia has for some time declared their plantations to swear allegiance to the Empire, but in my father's hearts of hearts, I know he wants to join with the other lords of the Alliance and fight against the Empire, one has faced cruel treatment at the Empire's hands, so I was fighting on his, in his place. Hmm. Don't seem like to like the Empire much, so why fall in with it? Well, I'm rather curious about Edelgard, so, uh, no, please forget that last part. Did you hear? The army attacking Ironhold is, uh, evidently being led by the King, by King Dimitri himself. Pretty scary to be finding a guy who killed his own uncle 
his path to the throne, huh? Even those who simply sided with his uncle were named as perpetrators of the tragedy of Duskar and punished accordingly. Despite the difference in hair color, her majesty looks very much like her mother. And Selma. What, me? Oh, I'm just ahead of a nearby village who has come to greet the emperor. Majesty's mother, Anne Selma, was born right here in former Arnoral territory. She would often come to visit our village, though it was a great many years ago. I still remember her as a most wonderful person. Okay, Tetra. We must speak. I grow stronger through battle. Combat experience really is being the greatest of teachers. Hunting beasts and hunting people are different things after all. Certainly are different. Let's just hope my skills stay as sharp as yours. Not doubting at all that you can. Okay, so. Never in all my life thought I'd run into somebody who could take out whole Holst. I don't know about Bird that Birdley's guy. He and Holst are so blasted strong they don't even seem human. Birdley's has a crest, whereas Holst doesn't. So if it comes to out a draw, that basically a win for Holst, yeah? Either way, I'm sure, sure don't want to tussle with either of them. It's a weak mindset. I will tussle with anyone. Greetings, Commander. Nothing to report. Happens. The gates of Ironhold seem every bit as gigantic and sturdy as those in the capital. Oh, how I would love to stand watch there. Not that I'm not proud of the tiny gates we have here. Wait, did I just call it tiny? Forget I said anything. I'm Baron Mertin, and my territory is located southeast of here. Not that I expect you to know that, of course, I fear we are something of a minor house. Nonetheless, I will help you capture Ironhold. Ignatz, we're fighting on the same side. I'm more excited about this than the ham feast. Excited too, Raffle. But hey, how are Maya and your grandfather doing? Great as usual. That's why I'm fighting, so they can keep on living a good and happy life. In that case, let's fight as hard as we can so we never have to be on opposite sides again. That is super cute. Best buds for sure. I, I don't care about Fergus personally, but I do have family there. Heard they are fighting for the kingdom. The battlefields, they are enemy. Got a sec? I would have thought I'd hear about family from you. Talking about siblings or what? My mother and sister. They are all I have. The lives of the enemies and allies mean nothing to me. But I could not bear to lose her. Oh, goddess. Uh, excuse me, do you need something? What do you think? The Empire is working to annihilate Central Church, yet faith is clearly important to you. You really okay with all this? I feel a bit conflicted because I accepted the doctrine of the Central Church simply as a matter of course. But so long as I can still pray, that is enough. Wait up. It's like we've got more mercs on our side lately. Can we really trust them? Be surprised if they had a couple of spies mixing among them. Better keep the important information close to the vast. No need to tell the mercs everything, after all. Those people would turn in their own grandmother for a couple of coins if it came down to it. You're gonna get bitch slapped one day. By the soon strongest merc. That's not good. He ended up facing against Gerald's mercenaries again in Regan. It's almost like there's some faithful connection between us and them. Let's see. Maybe, although don't seem to have any particular grudge against the Empire. Just be a coincidence. Mm. I'd be grateful if there were the case. But as they say, what it happens twice will surely happen thrice. The funny thing is, the Ashen Demon in a different universe was their teacher. Great, so... I find myself relieved that the battle with the Alliance has come to an end, although I swore fealty to the Empire. It is no pleasant affair to be thrown into war against former comrades. I would rest far more easy if the Alliance and the Empire were to be united. 
Hey, you never know, right? Yes, I'm certain that if their interests were to align, they would not hesitate to come together. Do you know what the kingdom and the alliance possess which the Empire does not? Perhaps my question is overly broad. So let's just get to the point. I refer to the hero hero's relics. Relics are those fancy weapons used by folk with crests, yeah? They are handed down among nobles of the kingdom and the alliance who descended from their great heroes known as the Ten Elites. In any event, relics are such powerful weapons that it is said a single one of them equals the might of 1,000 ordinary soldiers. Such is what it means to face off against the kingdom and several relics in their possession. We'll do the support conversations in a bit after we spoke to everyone on the map. I looked up to the knights uh, of the kingdom since I was a small girl, but now that the time has come to cross spears with them, I find myself increasingly nervous. Pray I fight in a way that does not shame to my opponents. That's one way of looking at it. What is it? What's the matter, having second thoughts? Don't worry about it, you're human after all. A little wavering is only natural. Trust me, I will guide you to right answers. I'll guide you to the right answers. Amazing! Arnholt, huh? Sure wish I had an invisible fortress I could lock myself away in forever. Still, I know that there is no such thing as something being truly invincible. I mean, even Count Burglis loses on occasion, right? Which means it's only a matter of time for Arnhold. Yeah, that's why we're here. Bernie? Hey there, remember me? I guess you don't. I was in the same year as you in the Golden Deer House. A few houses of the Alliance are following the Empire now, including the one that I worked for. Worked for. Okay, cool. Lunato and his forces lead Vanguard to uh, Ehrenhold. They'll be quite familiar with Ehrenhold, seeing as it is Hosurao's residence. Lunato is very important to me, as is everyone else in the Kingdom's army, and I don't want to whine. I really don't, but I also don't want to fight them. I wonder if Ro is gonna die Thing is. in the main mission here. For a long time, all I cared about was just was being just like my father in every way and then surpassing him. But now I know that's not enough. I mean, there have to be people even stronger than him, right? Hmm. Actually, you might be right. And besides, true strength comes in all forms hmm. and shapes. So you get it. Still, I set a lot of goals for myself, so I know there's a long road ahead. I mean, you're still young. You still have a long way to go. How can I serve? This was once Arendelle territory, but the regent's rebellion saw the house ended. To that, it came under control of the house Herg's folk, and the minister of the imperial household began coming, going often. Talk arose that it would be granted to house Vestra, but for now it remains Herc's full influence. Oh, Listen up. Going back and forth in the mountains reminds me of my hometown. I've seen anyone there in a long time, but I think I'd like to head back someday. It's in the middle of some great mountains. No, wait, some great forest? <sighs> It'll come to me eventually. I thought Count Rowan might turn back to the kingdom more readily, but instead he mounts a stout defense from the castle. Perhaps he possesses some backbone after all. You sure? Yeah, I don't know. Seems just as likely Rowan wants to flip sides and someone is counseling him otherwise. Interesting thought. And perhaps a prescient a prescient one? I don't know what that word is. I'm thick in the skull today. Consider Lord Lonato is presently in Ironhold. I confess shame at my own ignorance for not having thought. Such possibility myself. <sighs> Ferdinand, you're too hard on yourself, buddy. You think too much perfection. You need something? I don't much think about the Lord himself, but those Gaspard folks are an impressive lot. Must love Lord Lonato. <laughs>
like a father and even willing to lay down their lives for him. Maybe he's more praiseworthy than I realize. Wiener, 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 that's a really long one, Lizzie. Thank you for the resub of 23 months. A moment of your time. Aaron Holt, known as the Silver Maiden, originally belonged to the Empire. Sadly, the Count Roa of the time betrayed the Empire and drove a wedge into the defenses. But now it belongs to the Empire once more, and we will never again let it fall into enemy hands. How are you today, Lizzie? I felt my recent performance to be lacking. The lesser majesty honored me with praise, and now my heart is full. Perhaps if I continue to accrue met meritorious deeds to my name, I will permit it to establish a house. For my family, I will do whatever it takes. I, I did... I did have to. I'm great. How are you? I uh, am exhausted, both in mind and body. More troops than ever now, <laughs> so I'm not really doing that great. My back hurts, my knee hurts, my legs are aching, and I don't... I kind of just want to sleep, but if I keep doing that, it's kind of bad for me. It just goes to show how important this battle is, but on the other side of that coin, it will be doubtless led to even greater losses. You sure? And it's a good thing we've got folk like you to keep those numbers low. Still, we have no choice but to be realistic and face the day as best we can. Find your calm reassor- calm reassuring. Well, uh, last week I uh, got a skin burn. Well, uh, I don't know what to call that in English. Like, I was out in the sun for too long and that completely exhausted my energy. So then when I went to go exercise this mon Monday, I had no energy whatsoever to actually uh, exercise. And now I'm just uh, dead. Like, my back is like telling me to, yo, take it easy. My legs are like, haha, you do not have energy. And uh, my mind is so, so tired. Sunburn, thank you very much. So yeah, uh, I clicked through this one, to, through a few. It appears the King of Fergus himself has come to recapture Ironhold. The outcome of this battle will likely contribute heavily to the balance of power between Ad Aristia and Fergus. I look forward to great success on your part, but I also trust you to look after her majesty. This is the kingdom we face, and there will be no end of rogues who seek to claim her life. I imagine you being out. It's not that bad, but I was out for like less than an hour. Plus minus, I think. In the fell sun with no shadow, so... Take what it's... Take... Take from it what you want. I'm so glad Her Majesty praises Randolph's efforts, and it seems like you received a reward too. Brother works incredibly hard for our sakes, and I want to help him however I can. Hold on, Randolph. I'll help you. I swear it. <sighs> like a true ginger. Burning on the stakes. I mean, what? Between victory and defeat. One time my face got swollen as fuck from the sun, I could see my cheeks, my eyes couldn't open. Right. Wow, what the fuck? I don't think I've ever burned that badly. That was at work tour that I was out all day. Jesus Christ, Lizzie. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. <sighs> Acquire class. Uh, Balthus. 
you're already in your third class, so we can just go forward from here, I guess. Monica. Yeah. Ash. We can go for the sniper. You have to see my favorite bands. That's true. Oh shit, no. Paladin. Uh, Rolf. Rolf is already grappler. It's good to know. Ignaz. Uh, is that my last one? He's already a warlock. Arena is already a bishop. Is that so? Yeah. You're already a grappler. Constance. I don't have any more seals. With proper this. training, you'll be unstoppable. Ash. He needs to be a sniper. Okay, talky talks. Thank God I only have to deal with Lionheart currently. Ah, it's you. How's it going? Any developments to report? You mean with my power? Not really, no. Hmm. Perhaps using it regularly won't be enough to provoke growth. Good to know. <sighs> hey, I thought you said you weren't interested. I mean, how many times are you gonna come ask me if anything's changed before you're happy? Weren't you the one so keen on piquing my interest? I only wanted to check how that was going. If you don't think it's possible, just tell me and I'll stop asking. Okay, yeah, it's definitely not happening. What? But this was all your idea. How cruel of you to stoke my excitement only to back out at the first sign of adversity. Come on, just keep trying a little longer. Says Lineheart. How about this? Describe the circumstances in which you first awaken to your power. Maybe we can reproduce the situation and see if lightning doesn't strike twice. Well, I was staring death in the face when it happened. I'd been beaten so badly I could barely stand. But I kept telling myself I wasn't ready to die yet. Lizzie, do you want a grape? Then out of nowhere it just... Here, have a grape. Hmm. I suppose we shouldn't try to recreate those conditions. Nobody wants a dead officer on their hands. Let's consider some other potentially relevant factors. Who was your opponent? Where did the struggle take place? What time of day was it? Do you think your emotions played any part in it? I was fighting. See, I remind I remembered to share this time. We get the chance to cross swords again someday. As for the when and where, we were in a forest, at night, and pretty sure it was a full moon, too. And that leaves my emotional state. But I don't know how I could replicate the intense emotions of being at the brink of death like that. I see, I see. That context would prove quite tricky to simulate. And if your power functions similar to a crest, Revealing itself even when you don't intend. I like grapes, but I just can't eat enough of them to not make them go to waste if I buy them. It's just that my little brother was like, "This is turning out to be more work than I signed up." I want to buy grapes, and they are on sale one for one, uh, one plus one. Hey, weren't you telling me not to give up just a second ago? Uh, I can do it, then so sneeze. And it hurts my back. Hmm. I'm not so sure. Ooh. 
This is so... Uh, what was I saying again? Oh yeah, there was uh, one plus one for one free. So he was like, yo, do you uh, want some grapes? And I was like, sure, give me some grapes. Because he can't eat two baskets on his own. Oh, he loves you. Oh, what a lovely breeze. Truly, there is nothing so liberating as the great outdoors. Your Majesty, Hubert is looking Hume. for you. My apologies. I didn't realize you were resting. I only stepped out for a bit of fresh air. I'll be ready to return shortly. Oh no! Please don't rush back on my account. I am more than happy to keep Hubert occupied in the meantime. Please, your majesty, enjoy yourself. I'll simply tell him I failed to find you. Ah, and are you cold? I can bring you a coat and some hot tea. I, I appreciate the concern, Monica, but I'm quite all right. <sighs> but while you're here, there is something I must tell you. Why are you staring at me, Your Majesty? Is there something on my face? SQ, you want a grape? I was only going it's to not chocolate covered, so... To have you with us. <laughs> Those who slither in the dark had you in their clutches. In another world, we might have lost you to them forever. Yes, it seemed they were only keeping me alive so they could use me for some kind of dark ritual. And I can only assume that would not have ended with me alive and well. You saved my life. I wish I could express what an honor it was to be personally rescued by the woman I've dedicated my entire life to. That's kind of you to say, but I only did it because I needed the military leverage. That doesn't matter. I'm serious when I say that the day you rescued me was the day I stopped simply idolizing you and decided you were the one for me. The one for you? Yes. You risked your life to protect a lowly noble like me. You need to understand the situation, Monica. I was fully prepared to sacrifice you if doing so would bring me even one step closer to achieving my goals. I had no intention of rescuing you until right before the opportunity presented itself. Oh, but, um, why not? I was under the impression that those who slither in the dark needed you quite badly. And as I required their strength to wage my war, I was prepared to look the other way. When we laid out our plans, your death was something we took as a given. All the same, you still chose to save me in the end. I don't care how you got to that decision, only that you did. You could have offered me up as a bargaining chip, but you chose not to. Instead, you closed that door just so I could be standing here today. Monica, I... I only get one life. And I can't tell you how lucky I am to share it with you. It is my destiny to walk beside you. And that makes me happier than you could ever know. Well, thank you. Fits that her character at least. Both us. Edelgard, perfect timing. Got a minute? What is it, Balthus? The little birdie told me Her Majesty is looking to hire a bodyguard. I don't know where your birdie got its information, but yes, that's correct. Well, that's great, because I know the perfect guy for the job. When it comes to strength, integrity, and loyalty, he gets top marks all around. 
And let me guess, his name is Balthus. Bingo! So hey, I bet an emperor's bodyguard gets paid pretty well, yeah? I need the coin, and you need the protection. We both stand to come out on top here. I see. Well, you will need to discuss the matter with Hubert first. Believe me, I tried. That guy didn't even give me the time of day. He said, and I quote, Why would I trust Her Majesty's safety to a walking pile of liabilities such as yourself? <laughs> Ask me again once you've cleaned up your act, and do be sure to use a good soap. So rude. <laughs> what makes you think I won't tell you the same? He turned his man so came and took packages. No? Man dropped them. No, it's an absolutely not. You wish to safeguard my back, but Hubert has given me a full litany of reasons why I shouldn't trust you to protect any side of me at all. He Hubert comes and he laughs and Google's Albrecht. Yet now you are a vagabond. You also owe money to Gloucester and other houses, and have a bounty on your head, which is apparently the only part of you required to collect said bounty. And need I even delve into your family history? Huh. Leave it to the minister of the Imperial household to dig up every last ugly detail on a man. Not every detail is ugly. We know you defeated Lord Holst at the tournament in Goneril becoming the first and only person ever to do so. So, while people do not question your strength, they might hold you in higher regard if you manage to pull the rest of yourself together. Beginning with how you treat women. Well, hold on there. I'm not about to pursue some dalliance with my boss. Especially when that boss is the Emperor. <laughs> Even I have my limits. I rather doubt that. Well, there's only one I am way dying to here, wrong. actually, literally. You're just have to hire me. <sighs> you must truly think me a fool. How disappointing. Hey, it was worth a try. But, all right, you in. I'll give up on the whole job search. Balthus, you fucking idiot. Caspar Monica. Lord Hubert, we've located what appears to be an enemy scouting party in the forest near our base. This is certainly a matter of concern. We will need to make immediate preparations to... But the one who located them was... Caspar. Ah, I see. Then what of our casualties? Also, did we manage to capture any of the enemy? We've three lightly wounded, including Caspar. And I fear none were taken alive. <laughs> I suppose such things are wont to occur when charging headlong into the fray. Hey, Hubert, did you hear how I cleared out a few enemy spies? I did, indeed. And on top of getting several people injured, you failed to capture any of said spies. Had you first called for reinforcements before leaping into action, that could have been avoided. And what if they'd gotten away while we waited? Also, didn't you say it was fine when my old man did the same thing before? Reinforcements would be nothing but a hindrance to Count Burglis. If he could not handle something himself, additional soldiers would do nothing more. Besides, he would not have suffered even the slightest injury in the process. <laughs> hey, I'm barely scratched! Ah, forget it. I'll win your respect next time for sure. Why do you ever insist on hurling yourself into danger at every opportunity? 
Clearly, some of the reason lies in your desire for military accolades. And yet, let us take this most recent incident, for example. Had you summoned reinforcements, you would likely have received more plaudits for it. The capture of an enemy spy would have been a nice feather in your cap, as would coming home with fewer injured comrades. Yeah, I don't know about all that. All I can say is that my gut told me to attack and I listened. And it wasn't a terrible result, very smart. so what's the problem? The problem is whether or not your gut continues to avail you. If this instinct of yours is wrong, even a single time, you will find a mound of dirt over your head. Don't talk like that, Hubert. I might be aggressive, but I'm not angling to end up dead. Your untimely demise would make trouble for me as well. Why, just think of the critical military manpower I would be sacrificing. Yet, at the same time, you and your gut mucking up carefully laid plans is cause for no less chagrin. Ah, you think too much, you know that? I mean, if you want That's to his entire job, thinking. You kind of have to accept the risk of death. I made the choice to distinguish myself in war in spite of that. But hey, you know what? If you think I'm gonna kick the bucket, go ahead and work that into your plans. <clears throat> Look, I know I'm your critical military manpower or whatever it was you said, but sometimes you've got to win whether you have that manpower or not. Like I said, I'm not aiming to get myself killed. But I also know there are no guarantees in battle. Anyway, I figure that's got to be the best way to make sure I don't end up being a burden for you. Oh, it's time for training. Gotta run, Hubert. Placing your fate into my hands, are you? They say it is a fine line that separates the saint from the buffoon. How right, right they, they are. are. We all know what Hubert thinks of him, though. Saint? Buffoon? I think it's a buffoon. <laughs> oh, there you are, Hubert. I've been searching everywhere for you. And to what end? Has Her Majesty summoned me? Oh, she would never use me for a task like that. I just wanted to thank you. Albeit reluctantly. I do not recall having done anything that would merit such a sincere display of gratitude. Well, you probably just saw it as part of your normal administrative duties. You fixed quite a big mistake in my last report before Her Majesty had the chance to look at it. I woke up in a panic when I realized what I had done. Imagine how mortified I was to see you'd already corrected everything. Yes, I may have done something of the sort. As Her Majesty's loyal servant, it is my duty to pare down the number of unnecessary matters which wander across her desk. I must say, I was surprised to see you make such a foolish and obvious... What was the error, guys? Don't keep us in dismay, truly whatever it's so called. Much, even as you style yourself the greatest of our Emperor's retainers? I'm aware of the mistake I made, but I would never dream of calling myself something like that. Well, perhaps I said it once or twice in the heat of the moment, but I never actually meant it. If anyone is Her Majesty's best retainer, it's you. And without House Vestra's say-so, I could never become one of her servants. <sighs> At present, I very much doubt you are fit to serve as Her Majesty's servant. I need a drink. Excuse me? <sighs> it is true that I did not make a conscious choice to serve Her Majesty at first. Instead, I simply did it because my father decreed it must be so. But such bounds no longer define our relationship. I do not serve the Emperor. My loyalty is to Lady Edelgard, 
and her alone. I stand with her in a manner that goes beyond the bounds of ruler and servant. Do you understand this? I want to be like that with Her Majesty as well. But I am only the child of a baron, so I don't have excuses to linger in the palace all the time. I have to return to my family's estate once I've fulfilled my duties for the day, and I get summoned back to our territory often. I am not like you. I cannot just be at her side unless I have a good reason to be there. Indeed. Fox territory is in the far west of the Empire. Yeah, drink. You're offending the foods. No, no, that's a compliment. Furthermore, you will be a baron one day. Your duties will prevent you from dedicating yourself solely to Her Majesty. Oh. Exactly. Unlike you, I have an entire territory's worth of people to protect. But I still won't give up. Even from afar. No. Precisely because I'll be afar, there will be things I can do to protect Her Majesty. In fact, Always being at her side might actually cause you to overlook threats from time to time. I may even serve Her Majesty in a way you never could. <laughs> that is a promising thought, Monica. Find a good spot for a nap. <laughs> what is Bernadette doing down there? Why are you skulking in the weeds? <laughs> no reason. Not getting in the way of two people's love at all. No, sir. Huh? But I'm alone here. I see that. when I saw them. A man and a woman together in the woods getting... Um, <laughs> well, neither of them seems to be dead yet. They're on a secret date, you dummy! Not fighting! <sighs> Regardless, how does two lovers stealing a moment alone lead to you curled up here in the fetal position? Because I'm hiding! I mean, if I messed up their date, they might try to get revenge on me! Relax. To them, you're no different than a pebble on the side of the road. Hey, I'm not a pebble! I mean, sure, sometimes I wish I was just a rock, but... Then just roll away quietly and you'll be fine. Just roll away quietly... Hey, yeah! Wait, Rolls no. away as if she is a tornado. Stop trying to get me killed! We've made enough racket over here to raise the dead and they haven't even noticed. I think it's safe to say they're off in their own little world. Still, good for them. Sharing words of love when either one could die tomorrow. Wait, they could die tomorrow? They're both soldiers who serve on the front lines. I doubt a rosy future awaits them. No! That's not true! Couples swearing their love and defying destiny are a staple of classic fiction! Sure, but the fact it wouldn't happen in reality is what makes it such a good story, right? <sighs> so what is everyone up to today? Wait! But there are tons of stories where two people who have sworn their love don't ever meet again. Likely because that's something people are familiar with from their own lives. Okay, so which is it? I believe those two can be happy together, so they can't right? Bernie, you're writing her name wrong again, SQ. But reality is cruel. It's with an E, Ooh. not a U. Anyway, I've talked myself right to sleep. Sleep 
Uh, blind art is 100% oh. idiot. Guess I'd better try that turn into a pebble and roll away quietly plan. <sighs> okay, did we do all the chatting with everyone? Are we done? Heck yeah, fam. Which battlefield are you headed to? The battlefield that doesn't hurt my balls. <laughs> I know, but I like Bernie. Okay. You are good here. You are good here. You are good here. Sadly, that only my character is useless here. Oops. So, Fergie, it's gonna be. of this mission, other than Yordi needs to deal pain to the enemy. Um, so I can't just sit this one out? I'm sorry. We weren't strong Balthus defeated the mage. Good job, Balthus. I'm on it. No, you know what they say about playing with fire. Let's keep it going. <laughs> Good job, Bernie. That's what I like to see. Kick their buttocks. Where's the seat? Get both. Good. So this is defeat. I'm sorry. Side mission defeated. Uh, successful. Whatever. Messenger appeared. Bolt this. Go smack this guy in the face. chest Ooh. 
200 enemies to defeat it. Okay, um... Job burning. It's burning time to shine. So this is defeat. I'm sorry. Tell me somebody saw it. We can ill afford defeat here. Who the fuck are you? Marquise Erebus. Okay. Here I go. I'll send these two in here. Our time has finally come. Pegasus Knights. Um, how much time? Three minutes. Twenty. Your spirit is admirable. Defeat it. Exploding into coin! Oh, 500k damage? Jesus. Kill, don't you think? Uh, 450 enemies left. This is just regular cavalry. That's fine. You two go that way. Okay, burning. You can't really do anything here, can you? You just go attack that mage, you'll be fine. Let's see how many? 71. You provide a shiny example for all. I don't think that's a very shiny example though. Send you at this brawler. Let's kill this Kelvin because I can. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they There's not a question of can. Only a matter of knowing when to retreat is a vital strategy. How does that please you? Good. Looks like that's it for us. Tell me somebody saw that. Let's see, we're over 500. Time to finish the mission. How much time? We need to hurry. Level up, Bernie. Level up. Seems like. Holy 
shit damage. Done. Main mission successful. Defeat Marquis Erebus. The Pegasus Knights. The Pegasus S. Clavin Sword. You're looking, at You're looking at the king of the battlefields. Hmm. Not that great. Sport conversations. Ferdinand wants to go on an expedition. <laughs> but I don't want to go on an expedition. <laughs> Why do you want to go on the expedition now of all times? Where the fuck is he? Oh, here he is. As it happens. Go to the forest. Take me where you will. Since I unlock that. Oh. Careful now. Be you man or horse, it is always easy. Great Horizon calls. Uh, my apologies. I do not know what came over me just then. Do you ever know what comes over you? <laughs> I admire how much effort you put into getting to know us all. I ought to do the same. I won't be outdone to Your horse is so well behaved. You must have something of a gift with animals. Impressive. Nice. That's the first one time that we get all the bulbs completely filled. Smooth talker, perfect conversation. Observe. How did you manage to slip past my defense? I have been thinking of growing my hair out of late. Uh, what length do you feel is best? Admit it. I am the picture of perfect nobility from every angle. Greetings. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, give him a gift because we're nice and such. Sure. What a kind. Come find me whenever you wish to go right.
<sighs> okay, we're, who are we uh, support chatting here? With Ferdy. Now, time for a break. Let us concentrate our efforts on rousing conversation. Afterwards, I say we reward ourselves with a gripping training session and crown the evening with a meal well deserving of our ravenous appetites. Huh. Is something amiss? I don't know. It feels like you might be leaning a little too hard on the whole giving your all thing. You didn't used to be like this. I know you want to do your best, but it's starting to feel like I can't even relax when I'm with you. Talk about a relationship breaker there. Perhaps you are right. I have been feeling rather restless lately. I suppose seeing my father locked away in that dungeon made me feel the need to accomplish something. At times like these, devoting myself fully to what few things I can do is all that keeps me going. Otherwise, I would simply succumb to the reality of how powerless I truly am. The pressure is... Depression! Now that you mention it, I think I finally know what was feeling off about you. It's that pressure forcing you to keep your guard up. Like you're constantly braced for the worst. Uh, take your breaks, for example. It never looks like you're doing anything even resembling relaxing. I wouldn't worry about your father, though. I know you'll find the right solution. I appreciate your counsel. I feel as though I have gained some valuable new insight into myself. After all, one can hardly notice the changes they undergo as they happen. It seems partnering with you is the right decision. Your advocacy for maximal effort continues to be an inspiration. Oh, I wasn't really trying to give you advice or anything, and that's definitely not what I'm advocating for. But if what I said helped, then I'm glad I could be there for you. I just hope you can start cutting yourself a little slack. Your future's bright, Ferdinand. A veritable wellspring of advice as always. I am deeply obliged. As long as you're feeling better. I mean, war councils are grim already, but they'd be practically unbearable with you sulking around the place. And really, it was nothing. Just here to help. Nothing? <laughs> if ever there is a time to give it one's all, it is when expressing gratitude. It seems you could learn something from me as well. And just you watch. I swear on the iron name, I will surpass my father in the most stunning fashion. He's never going to learn, is he? <sighs> Fergie and Bernadetta. Hmm. Well, Bernie, you were nothing but trouble for everybody yet again. <sighs> Don't be so down on yourself. I was worried when you failed to appear at mealtime. Please do not tell me your hunger was so great that you resorted to eating those plants there. You should be careful. I have heard there is some rather poisonous flora in this area. Hey! I'm not going to eat poison! What kind of dummy do you think I am? A big one. I know exactly I mean, what? <laughs> which plants are safe and which ones aren't. That's what I like about Bernadetta. It's strange to see you this confident on a topic. But if you are so certain, I think I should give your eye a test. Just to be safe, you understand. We're doing what now? Ah, I know. What say we have a little game to see who can collect the most edible plants? What? Ferdinand's always going all out. And as an army can never have too much food, this will serve to benefit the others. <laughs> what a splendid idea. Oh, why me? Okay, 
So this one would cause stomach aches, and that one would be really bitter. Mm, I think. Oh, I don't know. I've only ever seen it in books. But hey, I'm sure it's fine. I'll also take this one, and this one, and this one. Oh, and that one over. Wait, is that Ferdinand? Such luster, such size, such a gorgeous crimson. Oh my god, Ferdy. Like a scrumptious leaf indeed. And there are bulbs under this tree. Rich white bulbs with the luster of a precious pearl. All poisonous, my friends. All poisonous. Bernadetta! Ah, I see. You were frightened by a mouse scampering by and took a bit of a tumble when you fled, yes? Yeah, and I dropped all my beautiful plants that your dumb game made me don't collect! <laughs> don't collect! <laughs> Never mind that now. Uh, show me your wound, please. Ah, uh, yes. Just a scrape. Still, we should return to base and treat it before it festers. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Thanks for looking at it. Wait, that leaf! The one you're carrying! This one? What of it? If you were hungry, we could snack on it while we walk back. No! No, no, no! That plant has medicinal properties. It's a styptic. Well, what luck. We can use it to treat your wound. I must say, your talent for identifying plants is no idle boast. Yeah, I eyeballed them pretty well, huh? Now let's take a look at yours and... What? <laughs> Are you at a loss for words with the quality of the plants I gathered? Every one of these is poisonous! What? But the gorgeous leaf... The, the robust vine. vine. Death in plant form. Throw them away before we die. Ah, ah, ah. Hey, you can at least make uh, poison uh, from it and put them on your arrows. Something for uh, you know beating our adversaries very painfully. Which battlefield are you headed to? Hey. Defeat the priest and other enemies. The mage is routed. Okay. Looks like uh, we need 30... Bernadetta... Edelgard needs to be swapped out for... I'll show you what a mercenary can do. Six. I really just want to lay in bed and cry. No, just leave it to me. Not a problem. No worries, not actual crying though, just because I'm insanely tired. So I picked Bernie. It's Bernie's all right. Let's keep moving. It's Bernie's time mm, Bernie to doesn't. Did I not pay attention? Maybe not. Honestly. Okay, 
I might need to dash a little bit. Bernadetta this way as well. Seeing as she has no... nothing on the field that can specifically strong. Weak against her. Search the strongholds for the missing ally. I'm on it. Just leave it to me. Not a problem. I've got this. You won't lose, no matter what. Baka baka baka! Am I baka again? Let us use this for the glory of our army. That's another one down. Let's keep it going. Defeated the mage. to do some more killing oh enemy commander has spirit nice i'm doing this for all the people i care about annette i have to fight and i have to win defeat annette to claim victory victory conditions changed This. I'm sending you to kill some more doofies. Looks like that's it for us. What can I say? I'm that good. Got three minutes left. 
Um, Bernie doesn't need to protect anyone anymore, so Bernie can go after this mage here. Did you see how marvelous I was? Just any Baka, the ultimate Baka. Only a matter of will. This victory will enable us to safeguard the future. We got another advanced seal. Super nice. MVP, Ferdinand. I need... Two advanced seals. That's nice. Training point recovery. Oh, shit's on a stick. That's not fair. Cannot use Waking Warrior specials during this battle. Okay, that's fine. Hey, Zillar. Okay, let's see. What are the... No sword, so Ferdy can be swapped for you, and then to oh, Edelgard. The I do not need these two either. We do need a mage, so Me Hubert. Her Majesty. For the horses and... Oh. Lined hard for the other rears. Just know it. Okay. Fight. The fight starts now. Okay, start off with you this way. Here I go. No, miss. They must learn who they're. That way. Let us go to work. Oh, if I must. Leave this. Oh, wrong way, this way. This defense. Hold fast and secure your victory. You would fight even though we're at a disadvantage? Oh, fine. Smack that! Zillar, how are you doing today? Are you feeling better? Is the sun uh, kicking less ass over where you live right now? Still warm as heck, that sucks. Hubert defeated the Calvary, good. What I like to hear. I have to fall back. Orders have been carried out. Now then, what comes next? My accomplishments won't mean a thing if I'm not still standing. 
standing when the battle's over. Your power walks the line of darkness. It is great time to overrun the battlefield. Here I go. Did you two still not beat these motherfuckers? Enough enemy count. Not a problem. I've got perhaps this will shift the situation in our favor. What a pain. Bandits are approaching. More Calvary. Here I go. No mistakes. They must look. Someone went to love a lot soft kitty warm kitty. No, not soft kitty warm kitty, more like Bolt kitty, kill me kitty. I don't want to die. <laughs> Commander Count Dufo has appeared. Um. Oh, if I must. Leave this to me. Not a problem. I've got this. Here I go. No mistakes. They... Take a breath. I'll take over. If I may. Zoom into retreat is a vital strategy. We did it. Oh shit! Even a golem. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna S rank this one. Out of sight. Um. Not a problem. What are its weaknesses? Axe, fist, magic, and electricity. Oh, what? <sighs> um. Oh, if I must. Leave this to me. Here I go. No mistakes. They must. Mediatal God's path to conquest continues. This stronghold will fall. Okay, we're 
just gonna this let Hubert to take this guy out. In the meantime, just I'm switching over to Lindhart. Much time. Fifteen seconds, There's no way I'm gonna make that. Sad. No S rank for me here. I mean, I could have just charged Duval technically. <laughs> Instead of killing the golem. If I probably had paid a bit more attention to Lionheart and Edelgard, they wouldn't have been slacking off down there. I mean, you can always redo it, but then with a Thunder... You got... I got ass indeed. can be expended will come of later of any army. as long as it isn't this fix facility time doesn't really matter everything has its use let me have a look by the way Lineheart, do you have anything that is like electricity? No, not on Lineheart. Hubert? Nope. Dorothea, on the other hand, does have thunder. And Thorum. Gotta remember that. Okay, so what facility can I expend? Blacksmith? Um, do 
Use this one. Weapons that have been forged more than 10 times refortune offers a way to raise the maximum forge count. Oh, nice. Um, marketplace. Marketplace so far hasn't really done me any good. B level. That might be worth. Let me know if I may be of further service. Let me know if I might be of further service. That's a good result. Storehouse. Okay, before we continue the battle. Battalion Master. Oh, well, well. Hello, you. Let me dismiss some of the... Low-level ones. Empire Sages, Empire Champions. We have some truly mm, we have some truly capable people here. Come back soon, all right? That's enough. For the time being. Kessler's Arcade? Is that the one and only Kessler? Dudes, it's been a while. How are you doing? Which battlefield? It is me. How are you doing, my friend? Uh, let's see. I don't need mages. I do need Hubert. It's the only mage we need currently. Uh... And Bernadetta. Man, a lot of stuff has happened since I last saw you. Not, a problem. Not that much stuff. <laughs> has it been a lot of stuff, dude? I should have swapped out Jordy. I just realized he's not it's really gonna to do much. Right there. Let us okay. go to work. You were just sending Let's this way. I will see my duty. Leader will Edelgard. No uh, Edelgard can take they slightly care flying. Don't have any fisters. Super annoying. I've got it. Watch this. That's it. If I may. Are you sure? I will ensure that what needs to be done is done. For one thing, I'm no longer on Twitch, I'm on YouTube. Nice. So what made you switch?
lots of things I would say, mostly how Twitch has been having lots of issues and also me not growing here like I wanted. Are you growing on YouTube though? having issues <laughs> I mean twitch has issues but YouTube has issues as well I can't really like say one is better than the other I'm my twitch records in a few months on YouTube nice Please die. That'd be nice. Oh, your Twitch records. Platform is perfect, but I want to explore and do more things besides just streaming, so I went to YouTube. I see, I see. Glad that it works for you, my dude. Will you get your right. butt over here? Let us go to work. <laughs> I've been doing small edits here and there, but I'm not really like gonna waste my time watching back my, my fucking six hour volts just to get the good stuff out of it. Only if I have fun clips, I'll make a short out of that or something. shorts and videos on YouTube, plus my vids get discovered all the time on there and don't get deleted. I mean, I just put my uh, votes on YouTube. Oh, but then again, my video quality is absolutely garbage, so I don't really give a fuck either.
Why is it so fucking hot? Training points. Let me see this Laban Swords plus six. Hey. TikTok sucks! <laughs> Fuck TikTok. thinking if I take this one I'm most likely gonna lose this one I think I'll just do this one let me actually have a look at that sword that I just got Jesus useless I do miss friends on Twitch, but sometimes you gotta do things differently. It just depends on where your priorities lie, mate. Uh, I know that YouTube is not gonna make any difference for me, so uh, I'm just gonna go uh, stay here. And chill with the people that do come by. Plus, it's not like I need to pop off, get bigger, or whatever. That would ruin the fun for streaming anyways. <sighs> Jesus. Um, we have a duty to 30. I don't care much for Light heart. Dorothea. And watch it bloom. Agents, I think I'm gonna swap burn dead up for where are you? Baltus. Just yeah. turn me loose already. No, of course not. If anything, I try to avoid excitement. Just lead a steady, regular, all life. Follow me. Let's see. Uh, leave you. this one to me. That's my cue. I'm on it. No charge. Just leave you. it to me. There's not a question of can. Only a matter. Of leave this to me. Oh, if I must. Leave this to me. A few bars to get our spirits in the start. No messing around. Ow, my back. Kessler says, "Go grab yourself a milky milk." Yuddy yuddy dozy. I'd rather be attacking than defending. I still find this whole affair to be very. Uh, this game I was very excited for. Uh, then we have Digimon Survive coming up in July. Other than that, nothing on short notice. Just playing through games. Playing some Yakuza. Making my way through those games. Yeah. I love the smell of a fresh 
simply incredible. Oh, if I could kill this archer, please. The Yakuza games are hilarious, especially if you're into the. Japan kind of stuff. Let's just put it like that. And a bit of the anime weeb, because the humor in it is just typical anime. It's one of a job, one hell of a job to complete every single game the series has to offer, but it's great. On the gameplay, story, and stuff, and like that. Where the fuck is this archer? Here. We'll split out Oops. Game I play for Yakuza would probably be Sleeping Dogs, and I love that game. Uh, yeah, no. I I don't think you can compare Sleeping Dogs to Yakuza. People think the Yakuza games are more like GTA as well, and that's just not the case. It's just not. Um. There's not a question of can, only a matter of will. Okay, uh, you no charge. Just go that way, Dorothea. I must. Playing all of the Assassin's Creed games on YouTube. The Assassin's Trash games! Sorry, I really dislike Assassin's Creed lately. The first few games were okay, and then everything just went downhill worse and worse. I don't even like the new games in the series anymore. I honestly just have a giant disdain for Ubisoft in general. Pumping out lots of content for it. Well, that's good. As long as you are enjoying yourself. Let me tell you that you shouldn't enjoy a game just because I don't like it. <laughs> I can do this. We don't survive if we don't win. It's a curious feeling to see one's classmates performing so admirably. Apologies. One step closer to victory. La da da da. The 200 subscribers just from playing the games on stream and making videos out of it. Nice. Oh shit. Okay. We're fine. I cannot withdraw. Not even when faced with a disadvantage such as this. 
Oh, you guys are with three people over there. Quit whining. Who the fuck is this guy? Metadode? Glad you're doing good there, Kessler. Like, for reals. For realsies. Ooh, nice silver axe. Moise. <laughs> yeah, okay, figured. Um, Kaspar. Look at this nice silver X that I got for you, buddy. Requests. Routy enemy. Uh, sword, spear, axe, and light. Swords, axe, and ice. See, do you have ice by chance? No, only thunder. Swapping you Time out for Yordi. You out for Edelgard. I don't care much. Lintart, what are your elementals? Light for sure and wind. Oh. Monica. Monica, fire and light and dark. Ooh, my battery is running low. F no. It's me telling me to follow you. To unfollow who? There's no time to waste. Uh, let's stay uh, mostly dark. Marina, convoy, lizard, please have no Oh yeah, that's what we like to see. Osferatu and blizzard. Okay, let's see, do we have anything better at this point? Yeah. Yeah, nothing in here. Italian. one okay um no 
know. Uh, battle map, sorry. Touch phones, I must have pressed unfollow again. Let's earn our keep. Stay safe. SQ. Leave this to me. What kind of plebe are you sometimes, really? A life is the only thing we can't replace. Best keep your wits about. Well, there's only one way to figure that out. They don't. Mistakes like that don't happen. not that many times as it happens for you. Like, usually you make one mistake and then it never happens again. Still need to get that milk. I should probably eat something extra. See, didn't unfollow.
Boom. Ugh. My back already hurts, SQ. The only position that I should be taking is lying down, technically speaking. Oh, I didn't defeat enough enemies. Oh, dumb. Well, that uh, is kind of cringe. Gaspar reinforcements. Blurring downstream? Nani? What do you mean? Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Lying downstream? Yeah, no, I don't have anywhere to lie down, have the webcam on, and be able to see my screens. Killer Knuckles, nice. Steal the tone. Everything <laughs> has its use. It's definitely an improvement. Hmm. Wait, why did I give Monica that instead of her regular... Monica! Instructor. Time to work you into shape. Time to work you with proper training, you'll be unstoppable. Facilities mastered. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Recreation quarters. Oh. Um. This one. Tactics Academia.
Silver gauntlets. Okay. No need for spellcaster. You don't expect me to go out there and fight, do you? Okay. Hmm, I don't actually need Bernie either. Hubert's is better in this case. Okay. The fight starts now. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. There's not a question of can. Leave this to me. Right then. Let us go to work. <laughs> Hold at all costs. Not together. We will turn this disadvantage back in our favor. Not you lend a hand, would you? Hope you're ready. Defeated thief number one. Forty-two. We weren't strong enough. Success was to be expected. I face my comrades after. There's not a question. Leave this to me. Right then. Let us for this. Watch this. I can't say I like how this is on the phone. Problem. I've got okay. Okay, let's go. SQ, 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 SQs, SQs. Okay. Here um, I go. No mistakes. 
That's a Pegasus Knight. There's not a question of cat. Leave this to me. Right then. We're done for. The rest is up to you. What's next? My turn. And off we go. I'll take over. Oh, wrong one. Not a problem. I've got this. We're done for. The rest is up to you! So this is defeat. I'm sorry. You may continue to rely on me. A rousing success. Sweet. I wield this blade in the name of my king. For Dimitri. Where did Womave go? Womave is still where he always is. Here I go. No mistakes. They must my turn. Not a problem. I am your man. Can't let it end like this. Right then. Easy. The yours is indeed a power that won't We mustn't let them open. There's not a question of can. Only a matter of will. Leap overwhelm us. Seize this moment. <laughs> I was. Job pretty. I don't know how we held them on, but we did. Nope. To kill. See which mission was it? This one, I guess, right? Yeah. Let's redo this one. Um. 
you you burn a dead I think right no Caspar oh no we went with Lane Heart last time but we need Dorothea due to her lightning another day another stage to conquer okay the fight starts now okay. not a problem I've got this, this way leave this one to me that's my cue. this way right then. let us go to work few words just cross all the Here way I that go. way no mistakes they must learn who they're up against they're not taking this from us the victory is never beyond Leave this one to me. It's up to you. See, I'm not so bad. Good job, you birds. Archer defeated by Dory. Here I go. No, they must learn who they're up with. Leave this one to me. No. I'm sorry. We weren't strong enough. D Not a problem. I've done enough. Now, what's next? <laughs> so this is defeat. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. I do hope you'll make this fun. Okay, knights, knights, knights. Here I go. No mistakes. They must. Time. Dorothea level up. Leave this one to me. That's Take a breather. Watch we'll this. have these defenses crippled in short Do, 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 do. Knowing when 
to retreat is a vital strategy. How does that please you? Probably best not to overdo it. is a vital strategy. I almost feel sorry for them. Okay. Not a problem. I've got this. Right then. Let us go to work. Take a breather. I'll take over. There are avenues that yet remain open to us. Sorry, I've got to fall back. Objective fulfilled. Four minutes, ten percent. We will incorporate this territory into our game. Right, thanks. Not a problem. I'm strong and here I go. You too. No mistakes. They must learn to leave this one to me. Wait, do they change every battle, or are they still the same? No, they're the same. Good. Okay, I'm um, dead. I can do this. Can't fight like this. I'm bleeding all over the place. The orders have been carried out. Now then, what comes next? Okay, it should be two balls in a minute. Please know it was 100% a mistake. I just told you that you can't make the same mistake twice. SQ. Then you're just a dummy. Save. Fringe. Hey, a facility can be expanded.
interesting. Okay, let's do a paralogue. The Grand Day of the Opera Company. We love you, Manuela! Did you see that? Dorothea looked right at me. Well, that crowd was amazing. I thought they were going to faint on the spot the moment you appeared. Pretty impressive reaction, considering how long it's been since you quit the stage. Don't sell yourself short, Dorothea. Those people were cheering full throat for you as well. That's also a fine reaction, considering you left the songstress life behind nearly two years ago. But time passes quickly. And let me tell you, it has certainly done a number on me. Oh, stop it. Time hasn't diminished your beauty nor your voice. Well, you're very sweet to say so. But we both know I'm getting by with smoke, mirrors, and the skin of my teeth. I'm no longer fit to command the stage. At best, I can serve as a bodyguard to our successors in the Middle Frank Opera Company, as they look to entertain our troops. Yes, well, all kidding aside, we both know it was the current songstress, Adrienne, who received the loudest cheers from the crowd. Hey, not to bring down the mood, but, uh, what am I doing here? I don't know the first thing about opera, and I'm sure you had plenty of people clamoring to keep all of you safe on this little excursion. So why me? If we brought along a bunch of starstruck fans to serve as escorts, it would end in disaster. Sadly, we've learned from experience that people will use any excuse to get close to our singers. Sometimes, they even convince themselves that we've reciprocated their feelings, when we've clearly done nothing of the yeah. sort. Alas, we've all had to get quite good at close-quarter combat as a result. Got the opera company was where I learned my dagger skills, though I admit it's hardly the most appropriate weapon for a battlefield. Sounds intense. Indeed. Behind the glitz and glamour of the stage, swirl all manner of dark desires. <laughs> but when it works, everyone comes together to beat back the darkness and create something magical. Like most everything else, you just have to take the good with the bad. <sighs> this kind of talk really takes me back. Forgive our intrusion, my lady, but we're ready to begin moving again. We should reach the next town in a little over... Hmm? What's all that racket? Sounds like we're up. Don't let them harm any members of the company. Adriana reaches destination. Only three? That's interesting. Okay, Manuela. That is my cup of tea. What is that? Okay, we're, I guess we're good.
Okay. Fight this battle. 1500, 13 minutes, free damage. Okay, Manuela. I'll let you cover Adriana. Our turn. I'm going to storm to the left. Let's burn that a done there yet. Yeah. Well, I'll let Manuela join in on burn that out so at least they can take some kills. I mean, I've been playing these games since I was a little kid, Ziller. If I wasn't good at them, then... Well, something will most certainly be wrong. Fast, mate. Go for it. Not a problem. I've got it. I'll take over. I'm unstoppable. I can't take my eyes off you when you fight. Please, you just got it. 
Nice. Leave this one to me. Crazy fan club. Looks like you could use some help. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. Not a problem. HP is still full. Swap over to Manuela. Like, I find this quest very funny. This court is Jordi Academy. Jordi Academy, Nani. Ichi. Scroll up a little. Oh, there. And I need to attend the Yordi Academy. The next town is so close. One more push, everyone. We must. I need to attend the Yordi Academy. Make it through. How much? I need 300 more KOs. Takes notes about making own sound effects to be better at the game. Mm. Wait, I make own sound commands. I don't even. Be sure to note down as well that you should not be realizing you're making your own sound effects. <laughs> Why 
Taking them out is our only choice. Prepare to be a mate. Go for it. Leave this one to me. Let's see. Five minutes left. How long can this go on? And how many of these boars are there anyway? Prepare to be amazed. Go Just send them it. after the targets. Have no fear, my dear Manuel. I have come to rescue. Hermant has appeared. Worst and no one needs no one needs to be not because <laughs> I gotta be dreaming. You're so beautiful, Dorothea. Better than you're in no time. You can't be better than the teacher. SQ. See. Prepare to be sending amazed. Manuela this way. Go for it. This reminds me of the battle scenes from. Not a problem. You always were a natural in stage combat, Manuela. Oh, you were no slouch either, Dorothea. Your swashbuckling lit up the proscenium. I've learned from many Kung Fu movies is that the teacher doesn't teach everything to the pupil. Same with the Sith. <laughs> Leave this one to me. Enter Manuela. I've often wondered if others like you never learn of their talents and fall instead into the bandit life. Yes, I suppose it's lucky I turned out this way, instead of as a common thief lurking by the side of some dusty highway. Time. Three minutes left. Last bunch of buttholes. Mission successful. I wasn't actually fishing, but I still like what we caught. It's good to know the people still really love us. Especially bandits, apparently. Not quite sure how to feel about that. Mm, 
money! I hope everyone from the opera company made it safely to town. We had bandits popping Sinner, what's up? every which way, didn't we, Manuela? Indeed. But those rogues were no match for our combined charms. No, no cares. Nobody side. cares. Nobody cares. Don't want to give a shit. I'm impressed. I could never do that. Still, why were there so many bandits camped this close to a town? Is it because of the war? In a sense. Care to I already got Ayaka. Of course. I got you my see, ice waifus already. Have begun tightening their security. Yeah, I don't care about the boys though. Except for Zongli, Zongli is dope. Such as this one here, there are naturally more soldiers about. That leaves the bandits with no place to go. Hmm. Sounds like they should just abandon the brigands' life and become mercenaries instead. Easier said than done. No, don't believe it. Don't trust it. The bandits we just fought. It's not as if they have a chain of command or central organization. They are clearly a group that came together out of common interest and survival, not any manner of grand military ambition. Guess that explains why they fought the way they did. All swagger and no plan. In any case, I came the moment I heard about bandit activity in the area. I hypothesized the opera company might be targeted, and so rushed to your aid. Well done, Hanuman. That's a more clever course of action than I expected from you. You could have ended that before the second part. Uh, don't be upset. In fact, you should be pleased I feel comfortable enough with you to speak my mind. It's nice how you two can be so honest with each other. Do you think so? Well, that's certainly a more pleasant way to view things. That's exactly how I try to look at it. At least until a certain Musu. someone comes along and screws it up. All right, knock it off, you two. If you insist on indulging in these sparring sessions, at least have the courtesy to let the rest of us leave the area first. Come on, let's go. Yeah, let's leave them to it. No, wait! I apologize! Just please don't leave me alone with this woman! I'm also sorry. Let's just forget this ever happened and head back as one big happy family. All right? Musu. Musu. Turn to camp. Ah! Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. The fire emblem waifus. Do I need for this one? Three storage chests. Everything has its use. Allow me to assist with any matters hmm. regarding the facilities.
That is a good question, though. Let me know if I may be of further service. Well, how'd it go? Yeah, that's a very good that question. That's a good result. To be fair, I haven't really like hey there. Have some time to kill? seen a character that Welcome. typically makes me scream. Yeah, that is uh, Zillar. Travel the Manuel FM. No. <laughs> No worries, Zillard, it's not that bad. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Um Are the lifeblood of any army. Honestly, I don't know. Everything has its Bernie is the only character that is like that extreme, and SQ is the only character that or character person that I know that does react so extremely on some points. Hubert. So what's going on? This couldn't wait for a more reasonable hour? <laughs> you are the last to arrive. But better late than never, I suppose. I may be late, but I'm also smart enough to smell trouble when it's brewing. And you've definitely got something on the boil. Please illuminate me. How have you come to this conclusion? Because I'm standing here with Yuritsa on one side and Petra on the other, and you don't invite people like them along unless you need serious muscle. It saddens me that I am not included in this toughness calculation of yours. <laughs> Neither fighting or hunting have toughness for me. I am fighting and others are falling. It is a thing of ease. Get on with it. Yuritsa. Yes, well, setting the question of toughness aside, your task remains the same. Can you please just get to the point already? I'm gonna doze off if you stretch this intro out any longer. Then I will do just that. I have received information regarding a small-scale raid on Garrig Mook. <sighs> the raiders in question are the Knights of Saros. But judging by their low numbers, they are not attempting to reclaim the monastery. Rather, their goal is assassination. Specifically, they seek to eliminate Count Varley, the current head of the Southern Church. The Knights. Good. I'll enjoy this. I have the knowledge knights. of stopping assassins. Good. Let us be going I'll with enjoy all haste. this. I see why you brought the three of us along now. But still, you've got an entire army at your disposal. Why use so small a force? If we suddenly increase our presence at Garrig Mark, 
The Knights will realize they have been found out and cancel the raid. But I need them to carry out their plan to the latter, so they might walk right into my trap. They will be like flies to the flame. Not sure that's right, but I get what you're going for. Even if the flies are strong, it all ends the same. You both remain as inspiring as ever. Now then, as we will be heading out tomorrow, we had best get our preparations settled quickly. Seeing as you are a long-tenured mercenary of some renown, I will leave the guarding of Count Varley's person to you. I hope it goes without saying that this is not a job which calls for improvisation on your part. Keep him safe and home, and do it well. No worries, Hubert. Those knights won't touch even a single hair on your guy's head. That is precisely what I wanted to hear. No wonder Lady Edelgard puts so much faith in you. Seems like a lot of weight to throw on my shoulders. If you fight with confidence, you will never be losing. I will do what I must. Again, get on, get on with it. Yes, yes, very well. Now, as far as Garrick Mark's current military capability... Let's see, we got that, we got against that, 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 uh, guess we're fine. Why bring me from the monastery and into the outer courtyard? Is this really safe? Perfectly so, provided you remain close. Whoosh, whoosh! Fucked up them bitches, bro. Let us go to work. 
You appear to need assistance. Begin. This <laughs> Sounded like I got a freaking uh, Swordsmasters. Sniper. Side mission failed. <laughs> Fs. We do have hope of winning, we just fucking murdered all of them. It's a shame that the side mission failed though. Swish, swish, I am here, there, I am Chaos. Skew, how many times do I have to explain to you that Chaos is bad and you were not bad enough to be able to handle Chaos? Oh, 
accomplishments won't mean a thing if I'm not still standing when the battle's over. Your power warps the line of darkness. Seppi is wrong. The Southern Church's bishop is an enemy of the goddess and must be destroyed. Seppi is not often wrong, but in this case he is wrong. They're few in number, but well prepared. News of our raid must have leaked. They make me sick. Still, looks like the two of us left to pull this one out. Shamir and Catherine have appeared. Catherine is a swords master. Let us go to us. I will see my duty done. Starting the mission. Is that begin? This Aren't you the princess of Bridget? You serve the Empire? I am serving Bridget, and Bridget is standing with the Empire. <laughs> But, but you can want all you want. You can't want this. You know what? I'm glad for this. We've never had a chance to really go with each other before. Thunder Catherine. Today is improving. If the Empire is always this tough, we've got some road ahead. Weaklings! That's it! I'm going back inside and never setting foot outside the monastery again! I see where Bernadetta gets it from. Still, at least the guy's safe now. At least we got an S rank. Even though we didn't do all the side missions. the cleanup and inspection of the walls, sir. We also cleared out the knights of Seros's base at the foot of Garrick Mach. The enemy has been routed and is now engaged in a full retreat. Well done. That should keep us secure for the time being. Still, you will want to remain vigilant, Count. But you just said we are secure! True. I do not expect our enemy to launch any military offenses in the near future. But 
It's not military. Ah, uh, of course. I get it. They'll be sneaking through the back door instead of trying to knock down. I imagine another assassination attempt is already in the works. I shudder to think of those zealots out for my blood. I entreat you to protect me, Baron Barnabas. After all, I won't always have the Minister of the Imperial Household here to save me. The war has reached a critical stage, and his wisdom will soon be needed elsewhere. As steward of Garrig Mark, my life is in your hands. I will do what I can, of course. To start, I want you to confirm the identity of every single person entering and leaving the monastery. Also, the gatekeeper must hear of these new attempts on my life and ensure he keeps his watch most keen. That one is far too casual for my liking. Yes, well, enough of this. I must be off. Of course, Count Thorn. Weird guy, huh? Stronger than he looks, though not inclined to fight. He has reminded me of certain woodland creatures. Though he is a fighter of much weakness, he has a talent for remaining alive. When you put it like that, he comes off like some sort of mastermind. But I guess all Imperial nobles are crafty in some way or another. Crafty, is it? <laughs> sure. I mean, the two of you are nobles, and I'd say you're as cunning as they come. Yes. Hubert and Yuritza are both nobles full of cleverness. Don't forget to include yourself among that number. After all, I specifically selected the craftiest soldiers I could think of for this mission. When the enemy is neck deep in skullduggery, I need soldiers who are adept at thinking on their feet. You think I'm like you? Really? That's great! Only a jest, I assure you. But since it clearly pleases you so, I must admit there was some truth behind it. Good. Glad we got that settled. <laughs> I tire of this. Farewell. I tire of this. He sure knows Farewell. how to make an exit. We should be going as well. It lacks wisdom to be far from the base for too long. But if you wish to be joining me for a small hunt, we will be passing through woodlands on the way back. Sure, if it's on the way. This is filling me with happiness. We will be landing a nice catch, then return home. Maybe a bear or a boar. Yeah, that's not really what I'd call a small hunt. Petra? Hey, wait up! Danny Danny Still, facing Catherine and Shamir time and again is a great burden to bear. But I must shoulder it if I am to protect Her Majesty. A noble among nobles. <sighs> but this tea was simply tremendous. A truly fitting find for nobles such as ourselves. Yes, but I fear it pales in comparison to the tea cakes you so thoughtfully procured. And yet... Far more than the provisions themselves, it is your noble self who deserves the greatest measure of praise for organizing this most festive occasion. E ah, Dear Lawrence, Ooh. you flatter me. Yet I must once again return to this lovely tea which has soothed my weary soul. To make something true. It is a testament to your impeccable character and taste. 
Why, Ferdinand, now it is you who flatters me. Ah, but my hackneyed words could never do justice to a pinnacle of nobility such as yourself. Nay, those hackneyed words have become pure poetry by the alchemy of your noble idiom. Uh... My, what fine examples of nobility you are. The two of you shine brighter than any sun, and make my own visage all the sadder as a result. Good day, Constance. Not feeling well, are we? I had thought to offer you some tea, but... Oh, don't worry about me, Lawrence. I'm quite all right. Well, I certainly won't force you, but do let me know if you change your mind. Hmm. Yes, well, there was something I wanted to ask you. Though I fear it's a rather difficult question. I have all confidence the two of us are up to the challenge. Indeed. There has not been a question yet posed that could stump the two noblest of nobles. In that case, and again, please forgive my impudence, but... I noticed you both complimenting each other regarding your suitability to your noble stations. But it is an impossibility for the two of you to be perfectly equal in this. One must be the most suited, the most noble. So, which of you is it? Which one of us? <laughs> I fear you misunderstand. This is not a competition, and would be unbecoming of nobles to compare ourselves in such a manner. But are you not constantly comparing yourselves? You are the most noble, nay, it is clearly you, sir, etc., etc. Hmm. You know, you may be right. Now, hold just one moment. It is true that we compare each other in a purely literal sense, but it is only so we might take pride in our collective peerage. And in that we are equal, for there are no degrees of true nobility. Again, forgive me, but it sounds as if there are indeed differences. You merely turn a blind eye to them in order to avoid unseemly competition. In any case, if that is the stance you both wish to take, I'll not press the matter further. Enjoy your shared throne at the pinnacle of nobility. No, wait a moment. You make it sound as if we refuse to compete because we fear losing to the other. Indeed. I had assumed we were sharing a large divan. But if we are actually squeezing ourselves into a single seat, that is another matter entirely. Not at all. You both are wonderful, perfect nobles. Mm hmm. Hmm. I cannot back down from this challenge. Doing so would disgrace my very name. Uh, yeah, yeah. <sighs> determine for good and all, who of us is the noble most true? A splendid turn of events, and one I am most undeserving of. I knew I could count on the two of you to reach the appropriate conclusion. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, we most certainly are not. In fact, I nominate you to serve as arbitrator for our competition. Here, here. You may also select the criteria. <laughs> okay, but I warn you, my eye for talent pretty much begins and ends at the battlefield. Still, I fear you will have to do. In that case, how about we use the results of the next training battle? That should be pretty clear-cut. Hmm, yes. A lord must be able to command their soldiers, after all. An exemplary measure of a noble's worth. And you will also bear witness to our personal prowess as well. For a true noble must be able to safeguard themselves from injury above all else. Sounds like a plan. 
I'll let Edelgard know. To think my off-the-cuff remark would lead to this. But the stakes could not be higher. For the winner will be forever known as the noblest of all nobles in the land. <sighs> Haven't you fanned the flames enough, Constance? Uh, set, ready. Hello, Hiko. We will now commence are today's you, sir? training battle. Defeat every enemy with not a problem. I've got this. Now it is mine. There is nothing I cannot do. Just do as I planned. Within the time. I am your man. <laughs> that sucks, my dude. Want to talk about it? I am the truest noble. Watch closely, my mercenary friend. Problem. I'm, I'm not permitted 
Probably. But I really don't just want to make assumptions and guess. Now it is my turn. Lawrence Hellman Gloucester stands before you. <clears throat> so with that being said, I guess I'll just let you be. Okay, I think I understand now. I get it. It is my turn. You. you two must have been rather bored to come up with this competition. But this was your idea in the first place. Actually, Lawrence, that was a difference. No, no. It would take far too long to explain. There's not a question of can. Don't leave this to me. Take a breather. It is my turn. care about you that's always ready to talk gone yeah I can understand that feeling sucks I must make use of this momentum second unit advance reinforcements huh One. Just do as I plan. I am your man. 
I mean, in the end, it kind of depends on uh, what you would want it to be. You don't need the truth. You need your truth. In that case, you just let it be with that. Bishop. Not a problem. Such is the cost of war. Now it is my turn. I gotta keep up with you. Horsey go hook chick. Officers are mighty indeed. Why the soldiers of my realm can scarce compare. Physical strength isn't everything. Just look at my house as Pegasus Knights. Indeed. Many battles come down to chance. No matter how superior the force, nothing is ever assured. See for yourself how strong we are. <laughs> I wonder who felt the most. You were keeping score, yes? Once we get back, you can announce the winner to all. Sure, let me just add things up and... Uh-huh. You heard tell of your pathetic little game, and have come to put you in your place. Hubert and his allies. Happy. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. Just do as I plan. I shall take it from here. There is not a question of can. Uh, so Hiko, just to get things straight. Leave this to me. Not a problem. This is the same person you were having all these uh, plans with. Here I go. My turn. My turn. Happy? Why are you here? Oh, I don't know. The bird invited me and it sounded like fun. I Yeah, now everything makes sense. Everything makes sense. Each time? Five minutes. I should have known you would look to interfere. I believe you are the ones interfering with an official Imperial training session. We are nearly here to do our jobs. Ah! 
Ah, yo, you're young. You still got plenty of time to get over it. Zillar, you're not old. Fair enough. Seeing as this was rather fun, I will overlook your churlishness. This training. It is simply that as nobles, we... There's no need for excuses, Lawrence. I'm sure serious practice is far too boring for big fancy nobles like you. Uh, you got me. Oh, and I'm not actually mad, by the way. I was honestly glad to get some practice in. Hi, <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, I hope Coco won. Practice is concluded. All units withdraw. I can't help but just be more confused here, Eco. Like, if, like a month ago, a few weeks ago, you were like, yeah, we figured it out, blah, blah, blah. And now you gotta figure it out again, blah, blah, blah. And it's, I don't know, man. Money! Money bags. Is it really though? What an exhilarating military exercise. But now, let's have the results. <laughs> well, that's why you need two brains, Hiko. The smart brain in your head and the brain in your dick. As a noble will remain as solid as most people run. only have one brain I have two In brains case, let's get to it so at least I grew up, two brains Ferdinand's the winner no surprise there ha -ha! feast your eyes on a true noble your paragon is I Ferdinand von Eyre well done, Ferdinand. Uh... Painful though it is, I must humbly admit defeat. You delivered when the pressure was at its zenith. You are indeed the most noble of nobles. Well said, Lawrence. And as for you, Ferdinand, uh... I often thought you were merely an ostentatious show-off. But feel so bad for you, Eco. You. <laughs> and to celebrate your magnificent victory, I think some tea is in order. A fine idea. You must permit me to lend my magical touch to the tea making. Hold, Constance. I think we can make do without your magic today. We just had a large practice skirmish, and I imagine there are many people trying to sleep at this hour. Your magic makes the tea shine so bright, it could easily disturb them. A point well made. In that case, I'll leave the tea. Yeah, that's the simple faith of being lonely, uh, Hiko. Conversation. This will be the best tea you have ever tasted. For it comes straight from House Gloucester's private reserve. <laughs> and I will provide tea cakes to match. Each one made to order by the very hands of Ferdinand von Eyre himself. 
There are plenty of people like that. You just gotta Didn't find you them. Just say people are trying to sleep. I'm starting to think these three shouldn't be allowed to hang Seems out with like each other anymore. Like fucking old man. Oh. Uh. Are you sure it was Miracle? Are you sure? There are plenty of fake people out there that you can do that with. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. <laughs> Wait, really? Yay, yeah, onto the net. No, Eco! You gotta find a genuine one, you dumbass! <laughs> onto the next one, he says. <sighs> yaddy, yaddy, does he? Hunger is the true enemy. Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. To lie about how much she likes me, my retarded hobbies. <laughs> I feel really sad about this. Such a fucking... I don't even know what to call it. I was wondering who it was. What fortuitous timing. Did you need me for something? Uh, Nothing in particular. Well, at least let's hope she's not attention. messing with anyone else. Please, do relax. But I already am relaxed. I've heard your background is quite the mystery. And what's more, that you possess some sort of unknown power. It's certainly a bold decision for Her Majesty to put someone like that in charge of frontline forces. I don't know if there's anything bold about it. Oh, it seems you do not understand your unique position then. Typically, wars among regions are fought between nobles and the knights in their servitude. But you are no knight. Merely a mercenary who commands soldiers in fealty to nobody at all. Maybe so, but all my orders come straight from the Emperor herself. What's the problem? There is no problem, per se. You excel at what you do and fight with true valor. However, protecting one's people during wartime has always been the nobility's responsibility, and theirs alone. Some nobles may feel just, insulted that they have to rely just because on a simple lonely, of unknown origin. You'll be fine, though. Seriously? But nobles are usually the ones hiring mercenaries in the first place. On the other hand, it is true that Her Majesty has actively appointed uh, members of Colin Burke. Even I noticed the red flags, man. And I don't even know her. ...shoring up our ever-dwindling resources. And, of course, the nobles have no choice but to obey Her Majesty. Which means there should be no particular reason for anyone to resent you. Didn't you just say they might feel insulted? If nobody's getting all I mean, I know what it's like to think with your dick, problem, man. Right? That said, this does not well, you could. The fact that a noble's obligation is to protect the common folk. Though your exact origins remain unclear, you undoubtedly fall into I haven't actually seen her in a while in Vince's chat. Therefore, you are entitled to all the protection a noble is compelled to provide. Simply say the word if you ever require my assistance. S 
See, that is something I just don't... I think I'll pass. Do. I might be a commoner, but I'm a mercenary before anything else. Fighting is what I live for. You know, at first I, I think you told me about her. Mind, but you were actually it's nice. right. I mean, what? I didn't say anything. Hey, nice to you. <laughs> oh my, you are funny. Allow me to explain. I am the heir to House Gloucester, a noble among nobles. My offer of aid was not an act of kindness. I remember you, like, went out of your way not society. <laughs> you would do well to remember the order of things here in Fodland. <laughs> Fuck. I'm sorry. So, you just came to tell me how I'm disrupting the order? Yeah. Most certainly not. But to be honest, I want people like that to suffer really badly. Like, I want them hanged and tortured and name it. Understand? SQ was gone. She didn't hear anything. I'll keep that in mind for now. Over it. Well, she never hurt me directly, but yeah. Bro. Simple as that. Direct hurts? If you're gonna get all bent out of shit <laughs> like, physical pain? It's not as bad as mental pain. Oh, never mind. We shall continue this at a later date. True. That's why I just want to hang him. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. Thirty-five. I wasn't talking about USQ. See if I can raise most of my people to level 35. I think I'm at SQ won't come with suicide threats. She just wants you to kill her. Bridget, I know, Yordi, I'm just being an ass again. I mean... I mean, I said nothing. Okay, this is enough. I'm not gonna... Well, maybe see how far I can get. Uh, nah, I'm not gonna make that. Yuritsa. The Paladin. I like big butts and I cannot lie. Hey man, don't worry too much about it. It's most likely gonna keep on happening anyways. Feeling down in the dumps. Until you figure out how to not be that without the use of other people. Wait. 
Which battlefield are you headed to? Which battlefield are you headed to? Did I get S rank on everything here now? Yep. Bleh, don't overthink your life. Just good. roll with it. It seems the fortress gates have been partially breached. The kingdom's soldiers are pouring into Aryan Road. Does that make us right on time or a bit too late? Dimitri is no ordinary king if he managed to pry a citadel like this apart. I assume our soldiers stand ready? We go on your command. If we dally too long, some of our officers and troops are likely to surrender to the enemy. What do you mean life is going world. shitty? You got all yes, them stray days, boy! Self You're making progress in life, yeah, mate. Him and every other noble. Come now, that is simply not true. Why, take me, for example. I am the perfect embodiment of what every noble should aspire to be. You can tell us all about it later, Ferdinand. Everyone, move out. Move out. Holy shit. Okay. Persuade Mercedes, sure. Hidden staircases, that looks like fun. Armor protection. Locked gates are indicated by blah blah. Class with lock touch ability can open gates by interacting with them. Okay. Uh, we need axe molars, we need that, and we need spellcaster destroyers. So. Constance is gonna. Oh. Being swapped not with Randolph but with Baltus. Oh, yeah. Lorenz is going to be swapped with Hubert. Persuade Mercedes requires units that are not the plot. Fuck my life. Who do we need? Yuritsa needs to be on the. Okay, fine. Battle map. Instead of Ferdinand, we'll grab Yuritsa. I know where the fuck he is. He's only level 30, so but that's fine. everyone begin our team sign the jodens right then let us go to work shall we join hands in here i go they must learn who they're up against so what need a hand starting the mission you might make starting the mission you might make a it's Time to sure hope this goes okay. I'm on it. 
Just leave it to me. Our inroad is nearly ours. Keep pressing until we claim the main hall. The king's army is true to its reputation. Even I can only stall for so much time. They're closing in on the main hall. We must help them and quickly. We must reach the main hall before Count Row is put in peril. his life above all else. If they get a blade to his throat, the man will betray us in a heartbeat. The main gates are closed. We could circle around from the left or right, but... But the ground along those roofs is filled with traps. We'll have to do this the smart way and use the... gates. on the walls to the east and west will allow us to open the main gate. Mm, does Hiko have a character in this game? This. To be honest, I would say no. I'm on it. No charge. until we deal with the soldiers around it. Okay, I can time rush through, that's good to know. Ow. Oops. No one is matching us. We'll do it together. I shot you now. I'm on it. No charge. See, can you open this? Watch this. It's Bernie's time. Me. Take a breather. I'm on it. No charge. How much damage? One percent. I get fifty percent. Is that I got a newsletter from my healthcare provider saying how healthy? The enemy controls the central gates as well. How aggravating. Healthy love is wrong. Using it now to blow First, some air in my face. <laughs> the fortress to gain access to the walls, where we will find the devices that will open the central gates. So you're saying we should start by using the two devices in front of the central gates? Ah, why does this have to be so complicated? Maybe they call her the Silver Maiden because our hair will be gray by the time we finish this. You call that fighting? 
Let's go through here. No. Is this gate still closed? Yeah. Sure hope this goes okay. Rampart door disabled. Over more soldiers any day of the week. Opus defeated the priest. I'm on it. No charge. Just leave. Time to wreck. I'll take over. Are you take a breather? Here I go. No mistakes. Everyone to her. You keep going. We can do this, Randall. None will get past us. No one is matching. Makes you creative and self burn. We'll do it together. I got you down. I guess that's sort of true. Chao Hiko, she's gonna say chocolate. Mercedes defeated. No more. I never could bear to see you cry. Not then and not now. Oh, very well. It's burning time to shine. It's burning time to shine. Oh. Eco, I am actually from opinion that getting late does not help. Posing as civilians and should be near the main hall now. We must move on those gates. Time is our enemy. This. The devices we're looking for are up on the walls to the east and west. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Glad that talking here at least helps. Even though I'm a big moron. In the name of the king, the empire must be destroyed. All 
troops, advance! Reinforcements have arrived. Agreed. Not a problem. I've got this. I'm on it. No charge. Just empire. <laughs> All your opposers will fall. Get out of my way. What's up the talk and preparations and the rest? <laughs> then we'll scatter them. They can't be allowed to interfere with the rescue. I'm counting on you, Randolph. Defend those gates with your life. Please let us take this place down. I need some Here I go. No mistake. They must afford to hide. Are you sure? One is down, one is to go. It's Bernie's time to shot. Sure. Bernie defeated the Pegasus Knight. Nice. Kick the dude's ass. This stronghold will fall. Bringing it down. Good job, Bernie. Operate. This way. I'm on it. No chip that way. We're nearly to the main hall now. Now we can 
advance safe. Oh shit, I forgot to actually... Oh yeah, you can say that again. I want that chest, actually. Attention all troops! We stand with Lady Edelgard. Put the king's forces to rout. You've left me no choice. Every last one of you shall meet your end here. Defeat Dimitri. I still need like four thousand KOs. So the blood of I'm on it. No charge. Just leave it to me. the king of lies. Just wants to challenge me. If you want to slow down, we must put as many troops by the main hall as we can. Weren't there hidden stairs that lead from the east and west walls down to the fortress grounds? We must have kept busy to make such strides in two short years. I could say the same for you. Now let's get this over with. <laughs> First Edelgards. Here I go. No mistakes. They must send troops in from the walls. Time to make the kingdom sweat. Aryan Road is the linchpin of the West. If we don't retake it, no. We must retake it. Okay, Dimitri is defeated. We are at a breaking point. All forces, fall back! Move, your majesty. I will guard your escape. That will not be necessary to do. Stay with our king and live on. Swear that you will return to us. I could not afford to lose. Bring victory to Fargus, your majesty. Let's work on securing the rest of the fortress. Side mission starts. I'm on it. No Are you here to help? Not a problem. Thank you. Which time do I have left? No one is matching us. Uh, three minutes. We'll do it together. I mean, I'm not good at telling jokes, SQ. I've told you this plenty of times. 
If you want jokes, you gotta go somewhere else. I didn't get an S rank because I didn't get enough kills. <laughs> How? Protect Dimitri and proved loyal to the very end. Because of you, we have defended Aryan Road and many of the Empire's loyal vassals. I thank you for your valor. Yeah, at least protective cover works. Must hurry, Your Majesty. The others have already withdrawn. I know. I know. Forgive me, Ingrid. It saddens me beyond measure to leave you here. The blame is mine, Your Majesty. I should have taken guard of the rear. Then I would only be mourning your death instead. The decision was mine, as is the failure. Every death this day rests on my shoulders. Your Majesty, please. She deserves so much happiness. Even after losing her betrothed, she faced life with strength and vigor, only to face the agony of death once more. It should have been me who died. How can I ever atone to Count Galatea? To Glenn? Please, don't torment yourself. Ingrid chose to be there, and she did so for you. Do not take that from her. You can't say that again. <sighs> In the name of this magic lance, I swear I will defend Fargus. So rest now. I will return for you when you are avenged. I was within the time limit, but just lacks like 150 kills. New shoes! Mercedes is now playable. Level 32, Bishop.
At least you now know that you shouldn't use that. Orion Road has held strong. I thank you, one and all. Ha! I hardly broke a sweat. Those kingdom soldiers were nothing. Why don't you just go, you know, to a shoe store? I can't believe we had to kill Ingrid. She was a most formidable commander, Dorothea. We had no choice if we hoped to claim victory. I know that. You think I don't know that? Right now, we need to discuss our next move. Yeah. I'm Going outside is healthy for you, bro. Get your mind of things. Buy yourself a milkshake, something nice to eat. Then uh, go to the to store for uh, shoes. Strategy. Try out some nice ones. We hold Arian Road and the Western Church in the West. The Great Bridge of Merdin to the East and Garig Mock between them. We'll treat all three as key positions and endeavor to hold our lines there. And After we regroup, we'll determine a proper time to resume our advance. It vexes me to say this, but I have been short-sighted. We are nowhere near achieving our goals in the Alliance or the Kingdom. My command has been riddled with errors, and for that, I apologize. Oh? And where exactly is all of this coming from? You usually exude confidence. From where I stand, yeah, not today. we've come a great distance with minimal casualties. Tomorrow. If time has been lost, we should be easily able to make up for it. I'm personally happy I had the chance to see Her Majesty's vulnerable side, even if just this once. Ah, uh, reassuring her with predictable responses, are we? Well, sorry. For once, I'm not sleepy at all. Nice try. That response still registers way up there on the limb scale. I will be using the extra time to make improvements, so I can offer more usefulness in future battles. <laughs> I'm lucky to be surrounded Friday, by such consistent friends. Saturday, Sunday, next week. You can say that again. Yes, they are consistently something at any rate. Apologies, Hubert. You may be weird, but I am the good kind of consistent. So, we're finally going back to the capital. Feels like it's been ages. Couldn't come at a better time either. My bones could use the rest after all the battles we've been through. I wholeheartedly agree. The respite will help us prepare to face the Ashen Demon. Uh, yeah. About that. I've been giving it some thought. And I don't think we need to obsess over that anymore. But what about Captain Burling and your old allies? The ones who were brutally slaughtered, remember? You said avenging them was your dream. And think about how much hardship the Ashen Demon has put you through since you joined the Empire. Don't get me wrong, I'd still love to prove I'm the better fighter. But imagine if we got someone like that on our side. We'd be unstoppable. It's time for me to put my wants aside and put an end to this war. For my friends. Unless you think that's a mistake. The Ashen Demon's mercenaries have fought for both the Kingdom and the Alliance. They don't have a cause, and they don't care who comes out on top in the end. It's all about who can toss them the most coin. And now that the dust has settled a bit, we've got a chance to lure them over ourselves. And here I thought you were intelligent. Think about it. Their allegiances have changed, yes. But no matter their client, they've always been fighting the Empire. Why would they join us now? 
for that matter, what makes you think our soldiers would want to fight like alongside a person I, who's murdered by hundreds 15. of their comrades? I'm glad you understand. Uh, hey, Arval? Yes? Why is it so important to you that the demon dies? Because I care about you, of course. I mean, I think that's the reason. Arval, out with it. I suppose it just feels like our destiny. Like it's something we're meant to do. Destiny Schmestiny. Scarlet Blaze. Unrest in Enbar. Despite successfully defending Aryan Road, Edelgard concludes it is no longer possible for her to hold the eastern and western lines at the same time, and pauses to explore solutions. Almost as if trading places, she sends Count Berglees to the Kingdom Front and returns her own forces to the Imperial capital of Enbar. Okay, I get that this little chat needs to be a secret, but if we get any deeper into the woods, someone's gonna be looking for our corpses. One can never be too safe. We do not know where our enemy lurks these days. Lysipia That's a big ass lie. What's she got to do with this? Lysithia has had contact in the past with those who slither in the dark. I asked her to come along so she might be privy to all of the information. I'm just listening. Pretend I'm not even here. And besides, they're my enemy too. Right. Now, as you know, our enemy has gone into hiding. But considering what they are capable of, we cannot relax our guard, particularly at the capital. The streets of Enbar practically teemed with them at one time. So we cannot rule out the possibility they will attempt some mischief when Her Majesty and the rest of us return. That's true. They're devious, both everywhere and nowhere at once. We have to be careful. Hey, Max, what the hell is that? And what's that got to do with me again? You want me to stop him somehow? I have a request, yes, and a warning. I believe that if those who slither in the dark do try something, they will attempt to approach you. Me? Yes, you. Your powers may come from the same place as theirs, right? It stands to reason they might try to recruit you. I see. Sure, but they'd be wasting their time. There's no way I'm gonna help those monsters. And what if they appear as your long-lost brother? Same hair, same eyes, a voice full of kindness. Or, what if one of them calls out, I finally found you, my child? Maybe they are your family, maybe they are not. Could you really drive a sword through their heart with that knowledge yet uncertain? <sighs> Forgive me. That was cruel. I am merely voicing one possibility among many. Still, now you will know to expect it. It behooves you to remember how harsh reality can actually be. True, but you have to spend 750 though.
Oh, we got a lot of chatting to do with everyone again. Hmm. I suppose one's hometown will always hold significant place in their heart. There's a wide range of emotions coursing through you right now, from unbarreled sense of freedom to feeling of relief, but I cannot quite wrap my head around why. So I have no hometown myself, at least not as far as I remember. Hunger is the true enemy. I mean, I guess. You'd be. Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. Hunger is the true enemy. Fish and bean soup. Surprised how often we fail at making food. Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. How did you ah. come back whenever you're hungry? Hunger is the true enemy. Come back whenever you're hungry. Come back whenever you're hungry. Care to make yourself useful? Like a healthy dose of emotional damage. Things are sick next time. We all must do our fair. Doesn't everyone? We all must do our fair share. Time to work you into shit. Ooh, train. Oh, you're still on fucking... Dorothea for Manuela, I guess? Mastea... Petra for... Mercedes. Raphael. Ferdinand for. Wait, is Yuritsa already in here? No. For Yuritsa. Hubert for Mariana.
Training can be the difference between with proper training, you'll be training can be the difference between life and death. Good to see you up and about, Lysithia. How are you feeling? Mercedes? Why are you... What am I doing here? You don't remember? You collapsed during training, so I carried you here. Professor Manuela said you were sleep-deprived. You were out for almost half the day, I think. I slept for that long? No! I have to catch up on everything I missed! I understand your impatience, but you're still quite pale. Why not stay here and rest a while longer? Thanks for the concern, but I've rested enough. That's a shame. I suppose I'll just have to throw out these cookies I baked for you. Cookies? Yes. I thought we might share them when you woke up. Well, I suppose cookies. So them. Wait, are you taking advantage of my love of sugar? I only wanted to enjoy some tea and your company. There, see, I was thinking of rainbows when I baked them. So colorful. How did you get them to look like this? Oh, just a few special ingredients. It wasn't so difficult. Now I'm even more curious. <laughs> Please try one. I'm certain you'll like it. No, Hiko. Okay, here I go. Not sliding into people their DMs. It's like... like snow. It just melts in my mouth and leaves the most wonderful aftertaste. Wow. This is honestly one of the most amazing things I've ever tasted in my life. I need to get up, but I can't. I'm glad you like them. Probably. Oh, and there are plenty more, so don't be shy. <laughs> sure, but more importantly, actually, wait. I need to eat another one first. Okay, you have to teach me how to make these. Of course, but let's just enjoy the ones we have here first. Yes. You have to teach me right now! I have to know! Oh, I think the tea is ready. Please excuse me for a second. <laughs> no! Stop! Don't you dare leave! <sighs> Can't believe I got so worked up just now. But I really need to know how to make these! Look where that got me now, he says. You got valuable experience out of that, Hiko. You wanted to talk, Monica? This is an interesting choice of location. I hear you've been going above and beyond lately. That you perform miracles each time you set foot on the battlefield. Why are you complimenting me all of a sudden? I mean, things have been going well, but... Oh, I assure you, I have no ulterior motive. You've helped me out a great deal too, after all. Even Her Majesty praises your fine work. She talks about you so much, in fact, I'm more than a little sick of hearing your name. Huh, she talks about me that much? Wait a sec. You aren't jealous, are you? Nah, that wouldn't make any sense. Indeed, it wouldn't. Why in the world would I be jealous of you? 
After all, you are merely Her Majesty's subordinate. Your relationship will never transcend the bounds of master and servant. It will never reach the depths of meaning that Her Majesty and I share. You're totally right. We're not in the same league. What is this sudden attitude shift? You don't believe me, do you? It never even crossed my mind how irritatingly close you and Her Majesty are. Not once. Uh... Yeah, you basically just admitted... Just better place in the U.S. now. True! I certainly did not. You did. You said you were jealous that Edelgard and I are so close. The word jealous never traversed my lips. You sure you're not, though? Perhaps... Uh, a little. That's what I thought. But so what if I am? I have always been Her Majesty's most devoted admirer. Hubert is one thing, but you... You're just a run-of-the-mill mercenary. Did you hear that? She's sick of hearing your name. name. More yep. times than she has mine? It makes me want to scream my lungs out. You've been counting? Look, I probably come up a lot because we've been fighting together so much. Don't worry, Monica. Things will turn around once the war is over. Las Vegas! Being consoled by the winner only makes me feel even more like a loser. I can't believe it has come to this. I have no other choice but to ask for your help. Uh, what's come to what now? I will just have to show you. Come on, let's go. Fuck no. You don't have to go for the gambling, you could just go for the sights. Huh, I am stuffed. Looks like you can really pack it away too, pal. Still can't compete with you, Balthus. That sure did hit the spot, though. Got that right. Now we can charge into tomorrow's battle fully energized. Hey, let's say we make a little bet. So you can go deeper into enemy territory. No way. Warfare and wagers aren't a good mix. I mean, yeah, we're fighting for renown out there, but it's not a game. It's life and death. Figured you'd say something like that. You seem like the type. And yet, you asked me anyway. Don't try to drag me down with you, Balthus. What's wrong with Go to Las Vegas and do the heart attack burger challenge. Like it's evil or something. Then what would you call it? Financially irresponsible? Because I don't want to end up broke either. Not like some people I know. You don't need to be fat to challenge that. <clears throat> You're one tough nut, I'll give you that. But I'm not talking about money. You know what I'm getting at, right? When you're on the battlefield, the only thing you can bet is your life. That's exactly what I take issue with. Okay, I know this might sound a little far-fetched, but hear me out. This ought to be good. Whatever you do, you'll do it ten times better if you're having fun, right? That's the key to success. I mean, you're not wrong. See, so there's nothing wrong with having a little fun on the battlefield, whether it's with bets or with something else. Living on that edge between victory and death is the key to survival. <sighs> Maybe for you, but that's not how everyone else approaches it. I've known plenty of mercs who have said the same thing, but they never made it back home. In fact, you're the only one of them who's still kicking. 
So, I'm sorry, but I have to disagree. You know, you and I have a lot in common. We're practically kindred spirits. But this is the one thing we don't see eye to eye on. Strange, isn't it? From where I'm standing, the only strange thing is the way you're thinking about this. Well, I guess the bet's off then. Let's just put this little chat behind us and give it our all tomorrow. Sounds good. Just don't get too reckless and wind up losing your head, okay? <clears throat> to each their own. I have legit no interest at all of visiting America. Okay, let's run around town and talk to everyone. Got a minute? Let's talk about rethinking our search. It seems like more for the big brains at top. In the meantime, I've got some time off, but what am I supposed to do when in the capital? You got any ideas? Hmm. Do what you always do. Lift some heavy and then chow down on a nice hunk of beef. It's like a good idea to me. <laughs> Wonder what kind of girl I can dig in Evan Bar. Oh man, I'm looking forward to it now. Hey. Hmm. <laughs> Prove myself to be the best. I wanna be. I'm surprised Edelgard would choose to return. I thought her to type to continue to fight than he cost, but I'm quite glad to be proven wrong. Let's see. Yep. It's always good for a leader to be hmm. flexible. Personally, I'd love if she bend this war altogether, but that seems like a long shot. Especially how deep in we already are. Speaking of. Imperial capital Enbar has existed since before the establishment of the Aradian Arististan Empire. It's... <clears throat> it is where St. Cyril's first appeared to the world. You've been there before, yes? Were you able to appreciate City's rich and story of history in all its glory? Right on. I've been there, but hearing you talk about the site has me excited. Maybe you'd, you'd be willing to give me a little tour. Actually, this will be my first time there, though I have been to the royal capital. Well, I just want to meet people and see the country, eat its foods. I guess. Also, SQ, no. Oh yeah, Triumph Return, or uh, maybe it's not quite triumphant enough for me to say that. Anyways, we're headed back, but my father has entered Aaron Pont and is keeping an eye on the Kingdom's army. Apparently, Duke Gareth, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, was sent to Mirant in his place. He fights pretty well, right? Like... Well enough that maybe he'll be able to hold it. But I'm not. <laughs> well met. The war has started, yet the air in the capital remains rather cheery, no? I suppose they can't even imagine the possibilities of losing, and while I want to think that way myself, one never knows what fate has in store. Why, what would happen if instead of the Empire itself were suddenly invaded? I don't know. And stream the date. Mm-hmm. Okay. No. So long as your face remains unbothered, I trust that nothing of note has come to pass. However, common sense simply does not apply to those people. We cannot ever know how or when they might make an appearance. Please don't let your guard down, even in Enbar. Also, this may be overly cautious of me, but be wary of Hubert. I don't think the man entirely trusts trust you. Already knew that. I'm glad Lonato made it out safely, but... We, though we killed Ingrid. Can't even go back, can I? There's no place left for me in Fergus. Whatever part of me was... Part of me... That was a knight is dead. Poor guy. To chocolates or not to chocolates, that is the question. 
question that is easily answered. I just... I just drank chocolate milk. <laughs> I am the I am member of the Kingdom House Elidir. I spearheaded our support for the Empire, but subsequent discords, the Kingdom's army ended up marching south. Me and the region north of Count Roe's territory once more side with Indeed. the king. Sensing the clear danger to myself in such an arrangement I fled to the Empire. You don't have to. True. <clears throat> Are you familiar with weapons associated with the saints, such as the Spear of Asal used by Saint Chihol? Whatever. And of course, there is also Saint Thethlin's Cadiz Staff. Central Church controls the majority of the secret items, but there are no small numbers, number of number whose whereabouts have been lost to time. For the war, we searched for the weapons we had lost and came upon the axe now used by Her Majesty. Nice. But I don't feel sleepy. Hit yourself on the head. Due to get drunk by chocolate milk. Impossible. Hearing Her Majesty say, say what she did only makes me feel all the more inadequate. But I will never, ever let such a thing happen again. Agree with me on that, yes? I hear you. There's nothing more frustrating than leaving a job unfinished. Now, I think we might be talking about different things here. Do you have a moment? There's, there are lots of historic buildings still standing in Enbar. And with the battle on hold, I'm hoping to take a nice stroll around to all the different sites. Um, would you two want to walk in the city with me? Nah. You've seen one building, you've seen them all. Why don't you and Marianne go? Just two of you. I will think about it. Dum de dum. Ah, it's so exciting to be heading back to the capital of so long, and since my father is at Garrick Mog, I don't have to see him. Maybe I can actually relax. That reminds me. You know, I've heard plenty of things about your old man, but not a word about your mom. Really? Well, my mom is a, is a civil official who still works in the Imperial capital. She has tons of useful skills, and people say she's an intelligent, accomplished lady. Look like me at all. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. <laughs> Everything has its use. Nothing to report. Greetings, friend. Greetings, Commander. Nothing to report. Although since we're headed back to Enbar for the first time in a bit, I'd sure like to see my family. I mean. Think about it. So long as we're caught up in all this fighting, there's no telling when one of us might leave home for the last thing. <laughs> the Middle Frank Opera Company has been tasked with providing performance as a way to thank the Imperial Army for its service. As a formerly featured songstress, perhaps I could do more to show my own appreciation for all your efforts. Talking, but what do you mean by that exactly? Come by the infirmary later and I'll sing you a song that soothes both spirit and nerves. Got a sec? It's been quite a while since I've felt this kind of atmosphere. Is this what soldiers mean when they speak of the calm after the battle? We had some sad for a while, some a lot of pain. But I suppose we should try to be happy that we're alive and able to return home safely. <coughs> Soon, well, right. well, hello. So here's my pitch. Everyone's been around a lot longer than Garrick Mach. Of course, the Imperial Palace and sprawling city didn't exist in the old days. But now the townhouse is one of the largest markets in Flotland. Every merchant dream of making it big there. Hello there. <sighs> is that the one? My Come mouth is too big. Yuritsa. 
returning now. How tedious. Had we kept fighting, I may have enjoyed myself. What do you think? You wanna head back to the front? I'm sure Edelgard would send you if you asked. No, I was ordered to return with her and must obey. Hear me out. Can let my hair down for the first time in a while. Same for you, yeah? We could, well, end up dead in the next battle, so we'd better spend our coin while we can. Hmm. Speaking of Embar, that reminds me. I haven't been there since I infiltrated the black market to get Vajra Mushti back after it was stolen from my mother's hometown. Black market? Wait, I heard about that. So that big guy picking fights was you all along? Actually, uh, nope. Must have been someone else. <sighs> Once upon a time, there was a princess. Her name was Chaos, but then everyone changed name to Cookie Baka. Then uh, I, I got bored. <sighs> SQ, your name was never Chaos. Don't lie to us. It's all hopeless. Turning to the capital means returning to the Imperial Palace, yes? Or if there is truly a place for me there. It will surely mean suffering at the hands of the daughters of nobles my family once mingled with. <sighs> well, since the nobility seems to hold little love for you, perhaps you will act as my shield. By the way, I rather like the church in the capital. It's quite old, but possesses the same pleasant atmosphere. A thousand years ago, Saint Cyril's appeared in Enbar and guided the founding of Adrastia. She also built Garg Mach, though in the end she left the Empire entirely. In such history, I believe the Church of Saros ought to be protecting the people of Edrasia even now, yet. Says you. Yeah, says me. Listen up. My first time in Enbar. It's the biggest city in Flotland, yeah? Whenever there are p too many people around, they tend to freeze up. Might not be a good idea to head to the busiest city around. I mean, if it is. If it is, I slip there. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, oh, nothing. Yeah. I just hate it if something annoying happened. Oh. Oh. It's really alright that I came to Enbar. I am certainly glad to be alongside him, but no, it, it's nothing. I choose to walk away from everyone, and now I have no other options. You'll be fine, it's fine, everything's fine. I will go to sleep in a bit. I'm not gonna start a battle after this one. I'm just cleaning up the mess. Flesh and I have been allowed to return to the Imperial Capital and see our family for the first time in some while. Plus, we succeeded in protecting Arianhal, so we can go back with our heads held high. Exactly so. You've helped me so many times, Jordi, and I thank you for it. Yeah, you're amazing. I hope we can work together again someday. I'll keep my fingers crossed. Randolph is the son of the previous Count Burgley's second wife, one who caused much familial strife. Wonder what Caspar and the others think of a man like that being welcomed as a leader, but taken. Ah! <gasps> to excess, I fear it will invite backlash. Though perhaps this conversation is lost in you, being as you are a beneficiary yourself. Don't know what that means. Again, SQ, I appreciate your messages, but barely see you ever talk about anything like emotions, but thanks. Excuse me. What do you think? You're returning to the capital soon, yes. Am I having time to go back to Bridget? It would give me happiness to visit home after a long time and loathsome. Let's see. It's your homeland, right? Place beyond the seas? Guess you'd have to sail out oh. there. You're riding with a trade ship as I am lacking a vessel of my own. Though someday I'm hoping to travel back and forth as I please. 
Do you have a moment? War has come for time. That does not mean we no longer have things to do. We must reorganize our army as well as change our relations with the other regions. I will need to lean on your strength more than ever in such time. Right on. Leave it to me, boss. As long as it's business fit for a merc, I'll get it done. <laughs> You're capable of handling a great number of things. Merely mercenary matters. What can I do for you? For being open to talk about it. Hiko, like, I, I always keep saying this. Don't worry about it. You're always welcome to talk about anything. And if uh, anything comes on the path that I'm not open to talk about, you'll hear it as well. So thank you for the thanks, and don't worry about it. You'll feel... You'll feel better soon enough. Just go do things to find joy in. Sleep well, my dude. Sweet dreams. And until the next time, good night. Come from Enbar to welcome you and give congratulations for the many battles you have weathered thus far. Say you have proven to be a grand success. Majesty certainly does have keen eye for talent. There. True. There have been a few stalemates, but there can be no doubt that the Empire will emerge the ultimate victor in this war. Frankly. Count Havering, though it's rather lacking in reliability, I've heard whispers that an attempt on Her Majesty's life is currently in the works. Just in case, I brought long soldiers to meet her, though I admit my worry may be unfounded. You sure? A better safe than sorry, especially when we're not even inside the city yet. After all, the best time to attack is just before the enemy thinks they're home free. That's when their guard is at their lowest. It. Wise words. I'm actually rather shocked. Wow, rude. Dirty is better at words. I'm not better at words. I have my regrets about this campaign, but at the same time, I believe, having done all that I could, I have seen a path which led the Empire ruling Flotland and opening the way to a better future. You think so? We're forcing a forcing stalemate with the Alliance. <clears throat> the fight with the Kingdom is at still and still. The Central Church is alive and well. Any challenges still lie ahead on our path to victory. Let's see. I think Hubert's right when I... Uh, I think Hubert is right. When I think of all we have left to do, it's hard to feel terribly optimistic. Respectfully disagree. We know the problems that lie before us now. We simply have to conquer them. <laughs> Spoken like a true optimist. I suppose I could expect nothing else from you. Okay, we actually spoken to everyone now. Which Strategist. You, you have unlocked the parallel battle unsettling truths. Uh, level 33. To recuperate from the fatigue of recent string battles, little do you know your respite is too brief. Shenanigans. Make sure you're ready. Wow! 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 Time to work you into shape. Okay, let's see. We have quite a lot of guys still to level up. We got some extra money now, so we should be. Never mind, I take it back, we're not gonna be fine. You have... Time. Death. Or you just gotta make more money. Moto, moto, money. And here I said that I should only be focusing on eight characters in total at the start of the stream. Yet obviously, Yordi is not gonna do that because he is a fucking dingus, a dingus supreme, if I do say so myself. Also, Warlock. It's hard to feel. 
Ulf is already there, Marine is also already there, Listea is already on her third job. Ignester is also... Raphael, Lorenz, Mercedes. Working just fine. Ash is working just fine. Monica. Can't wait to see how you do. Let's see, what time is it? It's 2317 right now. Ow. Oh. I think that's a good time to uh, call quits for the night. Because I need my rest. My back needs rest. My body needs rest. Everything is killing me. And is this team? So, ladies and gents, gents and gentle ladies, thank you all very much for hanging out with me tonight. I hope you all had a fantastic time. I'm still having a lot of fun with this game. Uh, even though I need to think more and I can't always get my S ranks in battle. I am enjoying my time with the game a lot. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what tomorrow is going to bring, whether or not I'm streaming. Uh, I'm really tired. My body is completely exhausted and my back hurts like hell. I can barely sit still. Technically, just want to lay in bed and best for my back uh so yeah don't know what tomorrow plans are yet anyways thank you all very much for hanging out if you're on youtube please like comment and subscribe and until the next time a uh, good night adios